It's still valuable. Everything's valuable. Anyways. Clown boys. Is that Chris? Is that Chris? Chris? What's up, guys? Welcome back to the podcast. It goes. You said you didn't hate. You, I thought you said you hated that. Why the fuck you just do that? I always do that though, because you said more energy, right? Nah, nah, Anyways, nah. what's up, guys? Welcome back to the podcast that goes unnoticed. Welcome back to the spot. Don't make it hot. We love you, even if you love us not. Ah. And welcome back to episode fifty-seven. Shout out to all the listeners right now on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Patreon. Patreon, y'all get your own personal shout out in the end. And yeah, it's uh. It's good to be back. Uh, last podcast, I was a little bit off it. Sorry, guys, for the off energy off me. I had kind of, I kind of had to force my energy last podcast, but I'm back. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a good episode. And I want to start off with. Oh, sorry, do you want to say anything, bro? But uh, now nah, you actually you just saying that whole that you had to force your energy. That shit just brought up a whole different topic that I I didn't even realize I you had like I had in my mind, mm -hmm. but. I thought about it before, and I wanted to say in the podcast, so you just reminded me. So good uh, shit, but you can start. My fault. All right, now I just want to start off with a, re a weekly recap, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty eventful uh, uh, week, bro. All right, so there's two things that I really want to mention. One is a good ass news, and the second one is kind of like I want to hear you guys' opinion, and it's kind of like uh, should I evaluate myself as well? Oh, all right, go 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 with the first thing, bro. The, so the, the first, good news. The first. I, all right, the good news is, guys. I know y'all been like. I don't know if y'all saw my Instagram. A lot of people, you know, watch, like, probably follow my Instagram and stuff. So I got a new car. I know I've been saying that for mad fucking long. I think I said it two, two episodes ago. I think so. I forgot, bro. I'm was not going to lie. I think that was two episodes. I, I, two I, or three. I don't I don't, I don't be, like, we were watching the podcast because I just edited it and then I, I get tired of it. But you did say it before. You want to get a new car. It might have been at the beginning of the month. So probably two or three episodes ago, I, I was, like, saying how. I think it was two episodes ago how insecure I was about my car. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Like, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. yo, like, I need a new car. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, it, it doesn't feel like it, right. It doesn't feel like it's me. This feels like it's me. You guys saw it on Instagram. If you guys haven't seen it, go to my Instagram. That's my new car right there. You guys can see the slide. That was my old car. So, yeah, I just feel great. Like, I feel like I deserve this shit, and I feel like it's me, you know? Yeah, I mean, bro, when I, yesterday was just, like, a whole process of just doing it and, like, trying to get the insurance, got, trying to, like, uh, get the car into your name and stuff. Just the, the whole deal, process was annoying. Yeah, shit. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you said, signing your fucking. It, it is. Uh, feel like you're signing your left away, but you're not. You're really not. It was so many papers to sign, bro. Yeah, bro. I mean, it's the same thing when you get a car from like a used dealership. The same thing. Same thing, bro. Same shit. Yeah. And speaking of cars, bro, remember when last week fucking dumbasses? Well, my dumbass almost got into action after we recorded. Yes, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. My mom was telling me like, yo, like whenever like your energy's off, like it's not good to drive because then your head's not in the right space of mind, and then like stuff like that could happen. So that's what happened. That's probably why. I guess I just wasn't my my head wasn't in the it, my head wasn't in the game, bro. You was probably you was just you were just stuck in your head, bro. Yeah, so just, you're not yeah. paying attention. Yeah, that's literally what it was. That's lo lo that look. You be happening to me at work, fucking just just any any anything that I'm doing. That's like even recording. Sometimes you see when I doze off. Sometimes yeah, I feel like it's because I like my mom be somewhere else. I'd be overthinking about other shit. But no, I'd be like that, bro. But yo. About about the car, like before we move on to the next topic, yeah, yeah, yeah. like it's uh, it's just, it, oh go my phone my phone. Bro. You gonna say how does it feel? <laughs> go go just go just go. I I'll, I'll ask it after, bro, because you're just you're going. I was going just gonna off. say it's, it's a big ass relief, bro. Like I want to say thank you to you guys, because honestly, like you guys are obviously a reason why I'm even able to do certain things like this. Because more money, you can do more stuff, more opportunities, type shit, and that's all to you guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that's all. Shout out to you guys watching the podcast all the time, every week, coming, coming through and shit, just showing love. All the comments, all the like, all the likes, all the people who obviously watch for the clips and stuff like that. That's also appreciated. Even even the haters, even the haters, we love you too. That's why our our motto is: we love you, even if you love us or not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But thank you guys. And I'm just proud of myself. I'm proud of Abby. I'm proud of you too, bro. I'm just I'm just happy and shit. Thank you, bro. But I'm just happy and shit that I was finally able to fucking get what the fuck I wanted to get so for so long, bro. Yeah. Um. Did, did it finally hit you? Cause you know yesterday, cause since you were kind of drained, did it finally hit you like, yo, I got a new car or not yet? It 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 like it like doesn't feel real yet, but it felt good like. <laughs> like just going to work. Like I was, you woke up and I you, couldn't sleep. That ass. Cause of how like. 
how eager I was to just drive it to work. It's like it's like on the first day of school when you're yes. excited about your outfit, you, you can't sleep, bro. Yes, that's exactly the same. Feel. That's crazy. We, that's crazy. That's exactly how I felt, bro. Yeah. Like I was so eager to like just wake up. Like Julia woke me up like mad early. She she doesn't usually wake up at like six in the morning. I usually wake up at eight mm-hmm. to get ready for nine. That's why nine forty five is when I go to work. Yeah. But um, I was up at six. Julia woke me up. I wasn't even tight. I was just like, you know what? Like, who gives a shit? Whatever. But then I went back to sleep. But I wasn't even tight. I was kind of like, I went outside real fast, looked <laughs> at it, went back to bed, fell asleep. Yeah. And then just look, just like leaving work, I couldn't wait to leave work just to look at it again. Look at it again, yeah. yeah. It, it was just fucking, it's just fucking fire. Fuck, I fucking love that like new car like feeling. Like I remember when I first got my car, like every, everything was just mad like... I think it was like better at that time, so I know exactly what you're feeling right yeah, now. Bro. It's like when you get a new phone, like you just yeah, like, you know, yeah, you're just like your new Yo. toy, bro. Yeah, exactly, bro. What, just, what did what, what did uh, your your brother and your mom say like when they saw it? Or like, well, did, like my brother saw it, he's just like, "Yo, what the fuck?" It, it was funny because when he saw it out in the like the driveway and stuff, he's like, "Yo, why is somebody fucking parked in our driveway?" Oh, he got scared. He's like, "Yo, who the fuck?" Like, I'm about to tell him to get the fuck out. <laughs> I was like, "Yo, it's my car, bro." He's like, "Wait, what?" And I was like, yeah, it's my car. And then we, he's like, oh, shit, what the fuck? Like, it's yeah. crazy. You got two cars now, whatever. But, yeah. My mom was just like, oh, shit, good shit, whatever. Yeah. I mean, it's, bro, I, I, like I said, I'm, I'm proud of you, bro. Uh, I've, even since, like, you got the, since you had your old um, white car, bro, the, the, the I guess, w- w- what's the nickname of that car, bro? Oh, White Thunder. Yeah, ever since you got White Thunder... Ever since that day, like I, I just, I think you, you just been saying like, yo, I, one day I'm gonna get a new car, one day I'm gonna get a new car, one day like, like all this shit is temporary. So I'm just like, I'm glad you finally was able and, to. And I was telling you, it. bro, like I, I need a car that matches me, bro. I feel like that yeah. car didn't match me. And this car definitely matches you, bro. I could definitely see, yeah. You yeah. Know what I'm saying I feel like this matches me. I feel like this is me. You know what I mean? Thanks. And also like, uh, I'm just blessed. Whatever. Thank you, God, for everything and shit. Yeah. But yeah. And also to. Uh, um, for the people listening right now, well, for the people looking at us, because the people also listen to us, but for the people who are watching us right now on YouTube, I'm going to put them on the spot real quick. Uh, That's another thing. So, uh, recently, no, yesterday, my mom said, yo, why does Ricardo look like he's getting a little uh, a little chubby, bro? Why, why is he getting gordito? Why is he getting gordito? Why? Oh, my gosh, bro. And that's not the first person who said that shit. Like, uh, even um, Abby's uh, uncles was like, yo. Santa Santa Vina, yeah, huh? They're treating you good over there, huh? I don't know what he meant by that. I didn't know what he meant at the time. Now you know what the fuck he I was talking about. Now I know exactly what the fuck he's talking about. So guys, please let me know if I got a little like chubby, fat, whatever you want to fucking call it. I don't care. I'm not insecure about it. Like I know, like I'm obviously heavier and shit, whatever. But just let me know if you guys can tell the difference from episode one to. Oh, I can tell the difference. It's an episode, what is it, 60 something? 56, 57, bro. Yeah, what the fuck is wrong with you? It better be 60. I, I literally said it in the beginning of the, in the intro. It's about to be 60 and shit, but yeah, I, I, I'm 200 pounds, bro. That's crazy. Does, does, it, does it feel like, does, do, do you sh- old shirts uh, fit tighter than usual? Uh, tight shit, yeah. But like, what, what, what hits me is probably like the pants, bro. It fits me a little, like my waist got bigger. Does? Yeah. But yo, um, I obviously feel like heavier and shit, but I also feel stronger. If you know what I mean? It's because I told you, bro, you're dirty bulking. That's why, because you do you do work out. Yeah, here and there, not 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 crazy. Like you know, you know, you know what you remind you remind me of, or maybe you'll probably end up do, being the same fucking Phantom, bro. Because Phantom, people be making fun of his weight, like he's like uh, he's short and fat or whatever. But he's short? He's like he's like my height, five eight. But people say he's still short because the way he looks or whatever. He sees our height. Yeah, bro. But people are saying like, "Yo, uh, no, Fano be like, he's not fat. He has a lot of muscle under under everything because he he goes to the gym. He just doesn't eat right." That'd be me. Exactly. Yeah. That's that ass me, bro. Yeah. That's crazy. But uh, any weekly recap for you? Like, I, oh, I, I'm uh, pretty sure that's tired of me talking. <laughs> I always say that every time I like go on a rant or some shit. Um. Well, I guess now nothing really too too uh eventful eventful happened. I guess uh. For work, uh, I, I've been enjoying work a little recently. You've been you like work? Like yeah, it has, I have, it hasn't been annoying. Uh, 
I have like them out. A, Amazon or yeah, Amazon, Amazon. I mean, I only work like in the mall for like one day, but so I don't really care about that job like that. Oh but shit! For Amazon, I feel like it, it's it's pretty light, bro. It's like because. I know when the warehouse used to work out, there's like a bunch of machines everywhere, uh, constantly scanning shit or whatever. And this um this uh, warehouse, it's a, uh, it's space storage type it's, shit. Yeah, it's just storage shit. Like uh, it's a mad spacious, uh, and you're literally just moving pallets, <laughs> pallets from uh, place to place, putting them uh, outside the truck, inside the trucks, taking shit outside the trucks. It's not bad, bro. That's like, all you're doing? Yeah. <laughs> and I'd just be wasting time just walking like back and forth, back and forth. There's one area that I don't like at all because it gets annoying. So why, then, why, why, what happened? Because it's called like cross dock. It's kind of like putting carts of like, uh, they're blue carts that have like boxes inside. Is that what the new people do? No, 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 no. No, oh, no that's what everybody no. does. But I'm just saying like, I just don't like that specific area. And I kind of became a little <laughs> cool with like some managers, like they know my name and shit now. So I, I just be going to another area where it's called transport, where you just transport pallets onto like uh, different sections of the building and stuff. That's the easy job. I, I like it because like it's a lot of walking, but it's bro, it's, it's not bad. Do you bro. sweat and shit? If I have a sweater on and a shirt, yeah, I usually just take my sweater off just so I don't sweat. You don't like sweating? No, not at work, bro. Why? Because I feel disgusting. Like I'm, I don't want, I don't want to sweat at work. I like that feeling, bro. Bro, there 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 be some guy who be like spam spamming it, bro. Like every time he gets a pallet, he walks mad fast. I don't know how he walks mad fast, bro, but bro, he be out. He be out. I'm like, bro, this shit's kinda heavy. How the fuck do you fucking walk that fast? You said, bro. But still, bro, I'm like, yo. But I have like a little, I guess a little crew uh at my job with like some new workers and shit. Oh, like like they're you're cool with them and shit? Yeah, like I'm cool with some kid and his name is Omar. Some other kid his name is Lewis. Uh I forgot, I forgot some other guy's name, bro. He has glasses and a beard, but, like, he, he's Muslim, so his name is kind of hard to pronounce. What, like, how, how'd it happen, though? Like, I, I always, like, um, I always think that, like, uh, when I'm cool with somebody, yeah. like, how the fuck did you become cool with them? Like, did it just, like, you know what I'm saying? Was it, like, something you said? Was it something they said? So, uh, it was something that, well, I, I started off with uh, being cool with some kid named Omar. He's Muslim, and... So I, I got to work, he, he got to work also, but he forgot his, his uh, ID. And then whatever, I was, as I was going in, he was like, forgot my ID, bro. And I was like, yo, that's tough, bro. And then- uh, You what passed I, him your ID or some shit? No, 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 I can't pass him my, my ID to enter, bro. You oh. need to like scan his ID. <laughs> whatever, he ended up getting an ID. And then like, I guess it's like, I don't, I don't want to talk to nobody. He's the one like who like talks to everybody type shit mm -hmm. or wants to talk. So he started the conversation off, and then I don't know how, but we just started like talking and shit. And, like every shift, we like, "Yo, what's good, bro? What's good, bro? Yo, where you been, bro? Like shit, like that." That's mad cool. What the fuck? Yeah, it's always the like since you're antisocial. Yeah, you need that like social like presence to to to, to like, initiate everything. Yeah. yeah, type shit. Yeah, bro. Uh, but it's it's cool, bro. Like uh, it's I thought I thought I was gonna be like uh, I was gonna be miserable there. But, I, I, like a loner type shit, lone dog, lone yeah, wolf but like, type nah, shit. Nah, I I just be chilling, bro. Cause it's funny. He's he's funny too. That's fire. That's yeah. fun. I mean, I'm happy that you're like enjoying that job. Like I know a lot of people going to Amazon. Like, yo, f fuck this job. I'm trying to dip. Like, I feel like I feel slave like, mentality. <laughs> fuck this shit. <laughs> I feel like those are the people who's been there for like years, bro. Like three years plus or two years. I'm plus. not gonna lie. I think it's also your shift, bro. Cause you have a light shift, oh, and yeah, you and and yeah, part, you're right. and the warehouse you're in isn't even like like crazy the other one is like repetition 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 bro i would have hated it if it was 80 hour shifts bro i feel like i would have went like it's not eight hour shifts though it's 11 nah, hour nah, shifts yeah, no. 10 hour shifts oh 10 hour shifts yeah ten, exactly 10 plus exactly i would have nah bro fuck that i would go with, with just four hours the way i the way i work right now and i'm getting whatever money i need and shit i mean uh i, I was gonna get into something um so you see how i was talking about ai and shit Oh, yeah. Like you saw my notes, whatever you peeked at my notes. Yeah. So there was this robot, right? Mm -hmm. It was an AI robot. Mm -hmm. And they, they created him to do basically like an Amazon job, bro. Like a nine to five. Wait, what? I think I saw that. Like he was, he was, he was, uh, he was pretending, not pretending, but he was basically in the, a nine to five worker's shoes. And then he ends up like uh, shutting down, right? He, ki he killed himself. Killed himself, right? Deleted, he deleted himself, yes. Even the fucking robots know that we're being fucking slaves to these motherfuckers. He probably knew that like there's no end to this. There's no point of doing it. So why is he doing it, bro? <laughs> Yo. You these, know what I'm saying? Like, these robots, like it's, bro. He probably thought it was like, oh, it's infinite. Like he probably was calculating like when does this end? 
Nah, bro. I seen that shit. I was like, bro. And I can show you guys. I'll pull up the video nah, right facts, now. Nah, facts, facts, facts. The video will be up here. I do have the video, so one second. Let me just pull it up. And I, I, for, our, for the listeners who like are listening right now, uh, I'll describe it after because I know you guys be wanting to like know what we're talking about too. So All right, so this is the video right here. Let me see. That is it. Oh, that is it. Well, does that not look like Amazon, bro? Yeah, it does look like Amazon. <laughs> Where they have to con conveyor belts and shit. Yeah, bro. My guy was literally fucking working. He shut shut off by himself, bro. Yeah, bro. Job, like, bro. Sometimes jobs do be depressing. Like, depends where you're, what you're doing and shit. But so I'm saying, like, I feel like the your 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 section is chill, but like. That's exactly what it looks like in the other buildings, bro. Yeah. You're constantly doing the same shit over and over again, bro. All you hear it, bro, all you have to do is D D Yeah, and that's it. You know, that, that that's actually a good point cuz um uh, another manager who's like in charge of uh, I don't know what he's in charge of, but uh I was basically cl closing up um a truck like putting like uh these like straps so like the cars don't move out of the truck and then he held me and then you, he asked me how do I like the job so far. I was like, it's pretty easy, bro. It's chill. And then he was like, yo, I used to work in the other, um, the other building. I used, and then like now I'm, he's working there as a manager. And I was like, how do you like it? Like, what's the difference? And he was like, yo, the other building I hated because the same thing that you're saying. He would be constantly like, uh, he hates being, he hates staying in one spot. So the whole scanning shit like made him kind of like a little crazy and like he hated it. So and give him anxiety. So he said that this place is way better because you have a lot more space. You're walking around and shit. You don't have to stay in one spot. And you're talking out like, you know what I'm saying? You can, yeah. Can you listen to music and shit? Or they uh, have a speaker and shit? It's, I guess you got to be sneaky about it because they, they are strict about your Airpods. shoes. So I'm pretty sure they'll be strict about... um. You should have a little like a, like a mini speaker on like clip type shit. I could do that? Yeah. I need to get it then, cause I don't. I, I, you can just get a little like clip-on speaker, like a little one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get walk one. around with that shit, bro. Cause I have heard uh, people listening to music while they're uh, putting the shit in trucks, like put through their phone on the pockets. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So you just have it in a speaker, so it sounds better, and you don't have to worry about your fucking phone changing mid song, whatever. Nah, you're right. I'm about to do that, to be honest. But um. Yeah, bro, that's crazy. Didn't you have an AI topic you wanted to get into? I don't oh, know speaking of into. yeah, speaking of AI, bro, because I know the last podcast we were talking about AI shit about the rappers, the the rap rapping stuff. I have two actually, two uh, AI things. So there's apparently there's like a new AI scam that people could use now. Oh, you know, I don't know what you talk. I don't know if you've seen it, but I it's like know. it's like scam likely, but it's like people could call somebody's phone pretending to be you with your voice and say like, "Yo, like I need help. I need this amount of money." Like, imagine, like, uh, your mom gets a call, right? And it's you. And you're saying, mom, like, uh, I just crashed, like, uh, or, like, you're in jail. Something, an emergency, bro, and you need money. And then just uh, you're telling your mom to, to, send, to send, you bread. send you bread. But it's not you. It's an AI modulator just using your voice. Using your shit. voice, yeah. I mean, people could probably use our voices because we have podcasts. Yes, that's... Bro, I don't know why we didn't fucking talk about that shit, bro. But, like, bro, that's fucking scary to think about because... Especially if you're in the fucking social media world, that people could could auto like fake your shit, yeah, yeah, easily too. They did that shit too. Well, I don't, I don't want to get into that, but like, yeah, whatever, whatever, yeah. People could just fake your voice with anything, to be honest. That's what I'm saying. I like, did the the deep fake, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's there's mad deep fake everything now. Yeah, and, and then I was also, bro. It's been all over my for you page, what? and on Instagram and everything, bro. The fucking the covers, the AI covers. Yeah, it covers. Like the, for music oh, and shit. Oh, the music covers. Yeah, yeah, bro. <laughs> Telling you, this is it's getting too real. It's getting too real. That shit is taking over. I seen one. It was. It sounded good, bro. Like I love the song, Eminem Mockingbird with uh, X and X and Juice, Juice World, World. Right? It sounded mad good, but like somebody said something in the comments, and it was just like, that. This is facts. When you listen to it, you realize like the music has no soul. Yeah, it's a voice without a soul. Yeah. So it's it's like I could tell the difference. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like like. X's real songs, you can hear the sadness and pain in his fucking... Oh, yeah, bro. Like, you listen to that shit in the car, you're like, God damn, you know what I'm saying? But, like, when you listen to this, it's just kind of... It sounds like just it, audio. It's because you know they're dead, and you know that it's it's fake. Mm. That's, that's literally why. That's what, that's what I think. I don't know, because uh, 
You remember even that fucking song I sent you today, bro? The whole um, Drake and Lil Uzi, Uzi shit. I don't think it, I don't think it's AI, but when I first heard it, I thought it was AI. That's how much AI. Oh, it's is not leak. AI. Nah, it's not AI. It's an actual leak. Oh shit. Yeah, bro, but that's crazy. Like this is this is getting too insane. And then I saw like a lawyer talking about like if it's legal to to make a AI generated Drake song, and he said nah, like the person could get fucking sued for millions of fucking dollars. Literally, every you're... single penny. Yeah, cause you're taking somebody else's money maker, bro, and trying to trying to replicate it, bro, for your shit. Yeah, and you're basically, uh, what's that word? You're uh, impersonating somebody. Yeah, you're profiting off of them, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 kind of scary. People could fake podcasts with our voices and shit. That's a fact, bro. Make clips with our like our our shits, bro. Imagine. That's scary to think about. Like, I feel like that will happen if it gets to a point where like we're really really popular. On some no ju- um jumpers jump uh shit. It would be cool if like you could speak in a way where like AI can't copy it, but people will know understand. I, if, if, bro, I n- I know if uh, someone makes an AI version of me, I know what to look out for. But I'm not gonna say it because they'll 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 know what the fuck I'm gonna t- say. But I know like how I talk and I know everything, bro. So fuck. Ah oh, shit. I mean, I feel like I I don't know what I would like look out for to be honest like, i know what i would look out for for you but really? i'm not gonna say it i'm not really? gonna say uh, it probably, probably like the uh, i i think i'm not I, gonna say it bro i know what you're talking about bro but this shit is getting a little weird like how easy it is to fake a lot of shit social media is feeling every day every day that passes social media feels less and less real bro. yeah bro just don't believe everything on social media guys now nah, and oh again speaking about ai um i saw an ai try to uh eliminate humanity what you mean? So there was an AI called um, Chaos GBT. Chaos GBT. Yeah. Wait, is Chat GBT? Yeah, bro. Yeah, exactly. So it was called uh, Chaos GBT, and uh, basically it said that uh, it's gonna go on continuous mode. Like somebody, I don't know if somebody put it in continuous mode or it, it went on continuous mode by, by itself. itself. But uh, continuous mode is like really, really bad. Like it's dangerous if uh, AI is in continuous mode. Cause then, cause it said it, it may, I may be able to run forever type shit, right? So it's not gonna shut down. Nobody yeah. can shut it down. No, well, well, someone can shut it down, but like if they let, they leave it for too long. But they just wanted to see what the fuck it would happen. Like what would happen? And the AI started to uh, see, uh, basically try to instinct, uh, ex- in- extinct, extinct humanity, trying to look for. Uh, a nuclear war is this uh start look start, started trying to hack fucking rushing like nuclear bombs stuff like that uh wanted to um cr- uh, recruit other ais to to basically join its team on some ultron shit what the fuck so ultron was real for a little bit a little bit yeah it reminded me of Ultron when he was talking what, about it. And, yeah, uh, like where where is this happening? Like, is this is a? Uh, well, I think they shut it off already, but they it, created it here in the United States. I don't know where they created it, bro. But I, I literally just saw like a news outlet talking about it on TikTok, and I was like, "What the fuck?" I mean, I feel like this is what I'm talking about when I say humans are stupid. I feel like we've made the movies already. We've seen like what AI like would do. like what AI would do. Like, why don't we fucking un- like think? I feel like we think we're just too smart and too powerful for like something to take over us, but nah, we don't realize how dumb we actually are. Like we kind of we're playing with fire, bro. We love playing with fire, and we always somehow always end up getting burned, e- even yeah. a little bit or a lot. But that shit is that shit would be scary, bro. Yeah, like just thinking about it. Like imagine, like because I even saw I even saw um uh I don't know if it was fake or not, but it was like a a TikTok saying making SpongeBob self aware. It was an AI SpongeBob. Oh, I saw that you shit. Saw that shit. Yeah. shit. It was fucking creepy, bro. How like he was talking about Patrick, Mr. Krabs, all that stuff and talking about itself. Like, yo, that shit's fucking crazy. Nah, what the fuck? Nah, I mean, um <clears throat> I, I just be thinking like imagine imagine this shit like uh like AI robots hunting down like people in the street and shit. Like the, like let's say AI creates like a bunch of Robots, robots and yeah. it just sent to, releases it to the public. You just hear screams and shit, gunshots, and it's not like people killing people. It's robots hunting down every single human that they can. Hunting that at that point will literally be extinct. Cause how the fuck do you win against a robot? Shoot it, bro. Kill it. Destroy it, bro. Yeah, but there's many. There's probably gonna be millions of other robots to worry about. Well, you built to, yo, know, the killing one robot would probably be hard as fuck. So imagine killing like a bunch of other robots. Fuck that, bro. 
We're humans, bro. We're smarter. Nah. We're alive. Nah. We're alive. Yeah, we're alive, but we're not smarter than fucking AI. You think we'll be able to win the war against AI? I think so. You think I f- so? I feel like I feel like AI is too like logical. I feel like we're kind of stupid sometimes. So I feel like they wouldn't expect what we would do. Really? I mean, I feel I I, I that's just the human side of me, hopeful side. Yeah. I mean, you know, you know what I <clears throat> uh, I kind of noticed like every time we talked about natural disasters, I feel like I don't know if this, this is any everybody else, but we always kind of make ourselves to be like the main characters. Like, yo, like if this would happen, we would do this, and like. I always think like yo, I would be able to survive in these situations, but I feel like me being trying to be the main character or whatever, when I wouldn't gonna get I, you killed. I shit. wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't survive, bro. I don't think so. You don't think so? Nah. You're telling me. I don't even want to think about <laughs> me dying, bro. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. Like a robot. <laughs> but like, why is that, bro? We, we always think like we're, we're like it's gonna be like the movies, like we're gonna be able to do this and do that. Just like that, that like a, I feel a movie like, scene. I feel like everybody thinks they're the fucking main characters of their own story. It's I feel like it's weird if you don't think you're the main character of your story, no? Because mm. I mean, you're the main character of your story, bro. You're yeah, seeing but, shit through your eyes. Not yeah, but I don't think I'm the main character of my story. Like I don't like. Some people probably walk around thinking like, yeah, like I'm the shit. Like like this is like this is my world. I mean, I think I'm the main character of my story, like because I, I only see my life. Oh, I'm right. watching my my movie through my eyes. I'm just thinking about it. Uh, I'm just thinking about it in a more like deeper way, I guess. I don't know. Like like literal like main characters like oh like yeah. to, to do some superhero shit yeah. or something like you're not the one to do that. Yeah. You're just a, a background like, character. I, yeah, I, I know what you're talking about, bro. But I'm just saying like that. Yeah. Cause like like to be honest, like uh, I, I that, that's one thing that like I always gets me curious. Like, how would it be to like look at life through somebody else's eyes for like five seconds, bro? Like, like, uh, like you, you, you be one, you be wondering, like, yo, how like, do I? What are you looking at? Yeah. Like, what are you seeing? You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, because I, I never could see myself unless I look in a mirror. Yes. Yeah. So I know what you're talking about. Like right now too, like us, like we see ourselves talking afterwards on the camera and shit, but like, like I right now I only see what my eyes are seeing. You know what yeah. I mean? And like I, I just I just sometimes wonder what your like your eyes are seeing like what no I, I be I, I be thinking the same thing about other people or too. even what you're thinking like yeah like what is going through your head right now like how do you see this fucking space what do you think you know what I mean not nah, yeah bro I also be thinking uh, well I don't know if you've seen that TikTok or I think Saul did it too like when he puts an object uh on behind the behind the yeah somebody explained it oh how, so how does that work I don't I don't know, I don't get how that works. So basically, it's like, oh, it's like the light. So there's still light reflecting from. So everything, right? Yeah. Colors, everything that we see is light being reflected from it. Because if there's no light, bro, what the fuck do you see? Darkness. You see nothing, right? Yeah. So everything has light reflecting off of it, bro. So when it's like like that, Mm -hmm. it still has the paper is covering this side, like the side that it's covering. Yeah. But there's still light being reflected from this side, and there's still light being reflected from this side. Okay. So no matter what, those light waves, those energy waves, are still gonna bounce off into the mirror, bro. So you're gonna see it. That's fucking weird, bro. <laughs> it's it looks weird, but it's like yeah. it's just how science works, I guess. Yeah, yeah. That's fucking <laughs> crazy, but yeah. Um, I do want to get to the next topic. So you know how we posted um the car shit, right? The car shit. Yeah, how we stay in the car for like a few. Uh, okay. So uh, and then in the in the comments I saw like people, basically people saying, uh, "Yo, you used to live with your mom." Like basically trying to be like a dickhead. Yo, you used to live with your mom. Get your own, get your own apartment, or whatever type shit, right? Yeah. I, first of all, I, that story wasn't even me. If you guys would have seen the full YouTube video, I was talking about a video. Yeah. And I just made it seem like that because I knew, bro. It's it's literally just marketing, bro. You you know you know what's gonna get more views. Anyways, go. Uh huh. But um. Whatever, uh, I saw that, and then I was, <laughs> I kind of, I kind of want to get on the topic of people like shaming people of living with their parents and stuff. Oh shit, you actually wanted to talk about this? Yeah. So, cause uh, <clears throat> what well, for me? I, I mean, I live with my parents. You live with your with, with your parents, your your mom, right? But you still pay rent or whatever. I still pay rent. But what I want to give advice to is for the, I guess, 
the teenagers or the people still live with the parents who think it's a bad thing. I personally don't think it's a bad thing as long as you're working towards something to get out of your 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 uh situation your situation or if you're working to something to maybe one day buy your mom a house. But I think, especially if you're young, and you're not paying rent, I feel like that's the most time. That's the best time to save money, as much money as you can, bro. Work, 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 save up, and then eventually you you move out or you'll just. Or you'll be able to do like whatever you want to, uh, you want to, you, or you'll be able to invest into whatever you want to do. That, that's facts. That is facts. Yeah. That's that's also how I see it too. It's like, it's kind of a way, like, it's kind of like a, not a break, but, mm-hmm. oh, it's one thing less to worry about. Like, yeah, yeah you pay rent, but you're not going to pay as much rent or as much bills as you were living somewhere else. Yeah. I always say this, bro. You could make it by yourself, but together, you could bro you could really go places you know what i'm saying like yeah. like that's how i see it. it's like all right bro like my mom is obviously helping me out i'm living with her and shit. Yeah. i'm obviously paying rent i'm not living rent free or whatever i also pay bills i clean the house i i buy stuff for the house you know what i'm saying i'm not just living here like a fucking like a fucking um parasite or whatever yeah like uh so i'm living here and shit but it's like i bet i don't have to work two jobs i don't have to work so much which is gonna take time away from this. Yeah. It's also like you could fuck up more. Like mm-hmm. it's fine. Like you're this this is the age this is the age that you should fuck up, bro. Your twenties is the age that you should fuck up. You should start trying to do as much things as you can to to Maybe. to set up your life for the for yeah. the future. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right now, like get get everything situated. Everything, 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 cause you need time to get certain shit situated. Like for example, your credit, you need need, need time to get that shit situated. Yeah. You need to get time to how to handle money, learn that shit now at this age, and go to school if you want, build your your brand, build your fucking business, build, like, everything, bro. This is the time now where you can take advantage of living with your parents, bro. It's not taking advantage, it's just, like, like taking advantage of the situation, not taking advantage of your parents. Yeah, bro, appreciate that shit, because whenever you live by yourself, you're going to be wishing you live back with your parents, bro, because adult, adult life is not is not easy, It's not it's not fun. Like, it's fun, but... It's fucking stressful, but uh, take advantage of that. Be appreciative of that, cause <clears throat> be appreciative of that. And uh, like he said, don't be a parasite. If you're gonna be living in your your parents' house, fucking help out with the trash, dishes, clean like the the, the bathroom, your room. Make sure your buy room is clean. House, you know what I'm like essentials. Like you don't have you don't have to buy all these stuff. Just buy like little stuff that like will let your parents know. Like yo, like. He's helping out, like he he's doing his he's doing his job, and and also even if you pay little rent, that's getting you ready to be responsible to pay bigger rent in the future. Facts, that is facts. It's all prepping and shit. You you need time to to adjust to real life and shit. Cause I mean I've said this mad times. It's crazy how fast you have to grow up straight out of high school. Yeah. How fast you have to just grow up. You know what I'm saying? So this gives you a little breather to really really get the grasp of yourself. Get the grasp of everything. Like, yo, all right, this is how I do this. This is how I do that. Let me organize myself. Boom. Yeah. I'm ready to leave the nest. If not, buy a bigger nest. You know what I'm trying to say? Not fast, bro. And I, and I, and I appreciate my mom for, uh, um, what you call letting me live in, a, um, in the crib. Cause she told me she, uh, she feels bad whenever whenever I have to pay when it's time to pay rent. Cause she doesn't want me to add. Want, want she doesn't want me to pay, but I have to do it because that's my responsibility. And uh, she said, like, yo, she, like, whenever, like, um, whenever, whenever the the conversation of me paying rent came up, she was like, yo, just be happy. I'm not kicking you out because there's people, there's there's parents out there who would tell their kid that, yo, after 18, bro, it's either you pay rent or you're getting fu- get you're getting the fuck out of the house. So it's kind of like I'm grateful for that. I don't. My mom is like that. Like she's not like a whole. You gotta pay rent if not, you're gonna get kicked out. Type type shit. Which I mean, there's nothing wrong with that too. It kind of like gives you like character and shit. Makes you like. I guess hustle harder and shit, but um, yeah. But some what if what if someone doesn't have that hustle then? If somebody you ha- kind of have to force yourself, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, like for example, me with Julia, right? Yeah. I mean, I have to force myself to make sure I do everything right, just so. Cause I have no choice now, mm-hmm. so it's I feel like it's a good thing, cause it's like, it's not like you. You can't be lazy, bro, cause mm-hmm. it's like. It's kind of like school, right? Like, uh, no, no, not, not like school. Um, 
it's kind of like somebody telling you you have to do it constantly, bro. Mm-hmm. It's not you telling yourself you're not you're not the one like. It's not like going to the gym. Oh fuck, I have to go to the gym. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you're not telling yourself this. It's like somebody literally telling you, "Yo, like taking you fucking getting you ready. Go, let's go to the gym." Mm-hmm. That's how it feels like with the, with like a responsibility, bro. Like oh, it's like, it's not. I can't. I I, I don't want to. I can't do it. It's like kind of like I have to now. Yeah. It's no other choice. Like my car, right? Yeah. Like. We have to fucking pay the, the car. You know what I'm saying? Mm. We have to. It's not gonna get fucked so, over. Yeah. So it makes us it makes us work harder because it's like I th- I think that's just because I think that's who we are though because we're we're well you're uh you're someone that's always hungry trying to get more and more and more. That's probably why there's not a lot of people who are like that who want to get more and more and more who are just who are, who just like uh accept accept the uh, accept the feet. It's because I, I like, like, like Polo G says, if if you like the finer things in life, then you're supposed to chase it, bro. Mm-hmm. That's I mean, just that's just how I am. Like, I like the the nice stuff. I want the nice stuff. And if I want the nice stuff, I was telling Abby, bro, I'm like, listen, like, like, because you, you remember the two cars that we, the options we had? Yeah. The second car was what? Like, beat up and shit, right? Yeah. It was kind of like your car. Like, old and old shit. Car, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It was old. It was like... Whatever it was, it wasn't the nicest car. So it was basically like a new, uh, like a nice new car, or uh, it's either stay comfortable or yeah, or fucking work hard, bro. Yeah. So if you want the nice things, bro, what do you have to do? You have to fucking work hard, bro. And that's just the reality of life, bro. Yeah. It's just like shit. Nice shit doesn't come unless you fucking work for it. Not yet. Uh, I I agree. <laughs> I agree, and I also agree with the whole like um, uh, like for me, I guess for me for that would be also luxurious things too. Like if. It's a whole. If you can, if you can, if you're not able to buy it twice, don't buy it. But I think I, I, I could buy it. I just gotta make sure I work hard so that money doesn't go to waste and that money is not like, it's not gonna affect me type type of mm-hmm. type of thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, I feel like that's just the the number one lesson in life. Like, if you want nice things, if you really want it, bro. If that's that's it, what's in your heart, bro. You don't like the. You like having nice shoes. You like having nice clothes. You like having nice everything, bro. That's a sign to tell you who you are, bro. If you like the nice things, then chase it, bro. That's who you want to be. That's that's how you want to carry yourself, bro. You don't have to settle for less just because you want to be more humble or whatever. Nah, if you like the nice stuff, fuck it. Work hard enough and you so, earn yeah. those things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You earn that. Like th- th- It's not flexing. It's not like, like flexing on everybody who doesn't have it. It's just, yo, you worked hard, bro, so... That should motivate a lot of people to to work equally as hard, bro. Yeah, facts. I mean, yeah, this this I don't think there's nothing wrong with living uh, like with your parents and shit, bro. No, I mean neither, bro. I, I never I never judge anybody for for whatever life they live, bro. I just it's, they live their life, I live mine, so it's not really uh something that I, I worry about. Yeah, there there has been times where I've been wanting to move out, mm. like I, I want I wanted to move out and shit, like why not? But I was like, you know what, like. Let me just like let, let me Wait. take step step at a time, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like you also don't want to stretch yourself too thin. Yeah. Do too much at once. Like it's just one step at a time. Set a, have a plan and set everything up for that plan. You See, know? That's what I'm saying. I feel like that <laughs> when it comes to that, it's like the best living with your parents is the best. Living with your parents and you're paying a little bit of rent is the best thing because you you could you could pay rent. Be responsible, do a lot of sh- other shit, but at the same time, save up for whatever life you want to live too. Exactly, exactly. And yeah, together could buy a house as well. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm always gonna say this, bro. Together, bro, yeah, could, everybody could do a lot of shit, bro. Like, even, even there's business people who said this, bro. I don't know. There's a lot, not a lot of fans of Andrew Tate or whatever, but he said this thing, and I agree with what he said. He's like, you just need a group of friends that you could trust, and you guys could conquer the world, bro. Thanks. It's the truth, bro. If you have a couple friends. And you're like, yo, fuck it. Let's put our money into a crib. Y'all invest in that shit together, bro. Y'all own it. Y'all sell it. Then y'all keep doing that again and again and again. Y'all just going to get mad bread together. But the thing is, the hardest part is finding people who you could trust. Like, we got school the other day. Trusting people because money changes. Oh, yeah, bro. The money, fucking... Money changes certain people and stuff. Bro, that, that bro. When we, uh, when we went to go buy his car... There was a a finance finance manager, right? Uh-huh. Bro, he yo, it's it. Now I know what he what he, uh, you were talking about when you said yo, like the, your uh, salesman job, like was teaching you a lot of stuff because you was around people with with a lot of money, 
And when he was talking, bro, I was invested because I never heard anybody talk this talk like this in my life. So I was kind of like, yo, uh, this literally, it literally opened a lot of like, a lot of doors, opened my mind up a lot. It it taught me a lot of stuff that I never knew before. Like that shit was Listen, just honestly, honestly, my biggest advice, like, I I I I don't know. Nobody told me this shit, bro. Like I just like, I just know. Always listen to somebody. Who's successful? Who's older than you, bro? Oh. You know what I'm saying? When they're trying to teach you something, bro. It's not. It's not that they're trying to belittle you. Just listen, bro. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because sometimes, sometimes they really have shit to say. Yeah. And you might be a little cocky motherfucker thinking you know everything, but really listen to what the fuck they're trying to say. Because it, 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 it's different when it comes to like, oh, like they try to tell you about what you're doing. Yeah. When you know what the fuck you're doing, mm-hmm. like you know what I'm saying, like oh. Yo, you sh- you should do social media. You should do this. You know what I'm saying? Like we already know what we're doing. We mm-hmm. don't need nobody to school us on that. Uh, unless it's somebody who does social media. They're trying like, to give us tips yeah. and shit. You yeah. know what I'm like, saying? Like somebody that we watched was already up there. That's that's understandable. But like somebody who's not really in that space, trying to give us advice, whatever. Mm-hmm. We don't have to listen to that. But like other shit, like just just listen, bro. Because sometimes motherfuckers really have shit to say, and it just goes over your head. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like that motherfucker really had shit to say. Bro, a lot of and stuff. And if we wasn't the way we are, like, wanting to listen, wanting to learn, he probably wouldn't have even told us, bro. Yeah. He didn't have to tell any of that shit, bro. I feel like the reason he told us was because you, you kept asking, well, yeah, you kept asking, like, a lot of good questions that he was like, yo, like, what the fuck? I, it's another good question. You know, like, uh, oh, I'm, I'm happy to answer it. Mm. That's funny. I mean, bro, That he was, a, he was a pretty chill guy, bro. I he was I, mad chill, bro. I fuck like, with him, bro. My guy was successful as hell, bro. Bought a house at 23 years old. Owns, like, five businesses, bro. And what he said, too, like, yo, what happens What happens when you uh, don't pay rent? They kick you out. So what happens when you don't pay uh, for your house? They're going to kick you out. Same shit. Yeah, that, that's, that, was, that was fire, bro. But <sighs> just, just make sure you guys listen to to people who really, like, have some real knowledge, bro. And you're going to know when somebody like that approaches you, bro. Trust me, bro. You're going to know. You're going to know. Knowledge is power. <laughs> knowledge is key. And like he said, bro, not uh, money can change people, bro. Nah, no funny shit, bro. On some real shit. Not, I, I didn't understand that until now. Knowledge is fucking power, bro. There's this, like, bro, life is like a fucking video game, bro. There's motherfuckers higher level than us, higher armor, higher fucking gear higher fucking assets and shit and they're if they're trying to teach you something bro listen bro like they have they failed more times so they know more cheat codes they know more fucking pathways to certain shit bro so just fucking listen what well, what was the thing that you were gonna tell me before when when i was eating you was like you were gonna say something and then you was like i'll just hear for the podcast oh did you see the new kong and godzilla trailer nah and that came out yeah nah i so, didn't see it so it's like you want to watch it now? Right, let's go. Let's go. Fuck it. It's like 30 seconds. Fuck okay, it, bro. Go. It's not, it's not the, even the like a teaser, no? Yeah, it's not even a trailer. It's, t- it's a trailer for a trailer. All right, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. God. Speaking of movies, bro, I'm 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 saving my reaction not for not for today, but like just for like. Oh my gosh! Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Wait, was that supposed to? Was this, who's that supposed to be? I don't know. That's that's why everybody's confused with. They don't know who the fuck that is. It comes out in twenty twenty four. Bro, bro, bro. The, the beginning. Who the fuck was that? That's the same guy that appeared at the end. I don't know. Cause I thought I thought supposedly uh, it was supposed to be. Um, oh, what's supposed the guy's? What's the <laughs> motherfucker's name? Was another version of Godzilla from space? Oh, Space Godzilla. Oh, yeah, there you go. I either thought... either Space Godzilla. People were saying Space Godzilla, Mecha King Ghidorah, uh, Destroyer. So that uh, do you want me to tell you the, how? Destroyer is the one with the three um three heads, right? Or that's somebody that, else? That's a King Ghidorah. Oh, okay. That's the dragon, okay. the golden yeah. dragon. Yeah. So you see how I don't know if you watch the other Godzilla movies. Yeah. Yeah. So you see how his head got chopped off and shit, and then at the end of the cutscene. They have the head. Uh, wait, whose head? Uh, the Mecca? The 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 King Ghidorah. They have his head. Oh yeah 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 yeah. 
All right, so whatever that led on to Mecha Godzilla, mm-hmm. but all right, so so it's not it's not so so it can't be. Uh, oh, so you, so you thought you thought that was yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah because so Mecha Godzilla was uh, Ghidorah's head yeah yeah so it's not that one. So Destroyer, they were thinking it was gonna be Destroyer because when they shot the the oxygen bomb yeah. into the you see when they they thought they killed Godzilla, mm-hmm. so in the in the comics that's how. Um, that's how destroyer was made. Like they just they uh they send that bomb and he was it, born it, from there. Yeah, it's like a fucking crawfish, like a fucking like a oh like, like, okay, I know I know what you're talking about. Like yeah, a yeah, crab yeah. or some shit. Like yeah, he's he's yeah. from like the ocean. Ass, okay, okay, he's yeah, from yeah, the yeah, ocean yeah. though, but he's a big ass motherfucker, bro. Yeah. Like he's he's bad as fuck. So they thought it was him. There's some people saying in the comments. I'm not really too familiar with the the, the lore. comics and shit like that. But in the comments, people are saying some guy named King Caesar. Okay, and what, did, they, did they describe him or who he was? He's like a big ass, like a uh, kind of like a monkey type shit, but he's not really like a monkey. It looked like that though. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying. So they're saying it could be him, but then there, there's people saying like, oh, what if it's like a like a Kong species? But since the radiation and shit, he also has Godzilla's abilities. Oh fuck! So, so they 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 like people don't know who it is. Yeah, but there's also people saying like. There's gonna be more than one uh monster bosses basically. I was whatever. I was thinking maybe it could be like a two v two type situation. Yo. Last time it was two v one, but they fucking defeated Mecha like it was nothing, bro. But shit. nah, they, they was getting the ass beat. Well, Godzilla was, bro. Yeah, Godzilla. I'm saying, but when, when no, but when they were together, they wasn't getting their ass beat. Oh yeah, they they wrecked them. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, but people are saying like, oh, they nerf. Godzilla or whatever, but they have to do that for movie purposes. Yeah, Mecha, bro, Godzilla. I fucking love Godzilla's roar. It's fucking it's mad satisfying. You know, in the in the comics, his shit like uh, it's crazy because like he he defeated God in the comics. Godzilla defeated God, and he became God. What he the became fuck? Literally the God of the monsters, bro. Did I? Yeah, bro. I didn't know that until like fucking. I was I was just looking into Godzilla and shit. Yeah, motherfucker went to hell. And hell, he was killing everybody. Oh, nah. He, he fucking fought his way out of fucking hell. Then he was trying to go to heaven to kill God, and he he ended up killing God. Yo, what the fuck? That's I'm, how that's how powerful he was, bro, in the comics and shit. All these, all like, bro, I fucking love monster movies, bro. Like, like you said, you hate the fucking human aspect aspect of it, but yeah, yeah, I hate when the humans get involved. Yeah. Like, get the fuck up, yeah, yeah, fucking nothing. But you know what's my favorite Godzilla? Go- Godzilla from New York. Every time this motherfucker mentions <laughs> that shit, I get triggered, bro. I don't know if you guys know what we're talking about. I put the I put the the poster or, or however he looks, bro. Iguana, like that shit. That's not even Godzilla, bro. That's, that's fucking, Godzilla. It's a dumbass mutated iguana that like just came to New York. Not gonna lie, like even though that Godzilla will get wrecked by by Godzilla that we know, I I still love that movie. It's nostalgic, bro. That movie's disgusting. Why do you hate that movie so much? It's just disgusting. That's a hot take for me, probably, because a lot of people probably agree with you. But my, like, I love that movie. Nah, maybe a lot of people agree with you, but I don't know. Nah, I, I don't know actually. To my my opinion, it's nostalgic. I understand that, but it's just like I cannot take it serious because it's not real, the real Godzilla, and it's like the the CGI and the, how the monster looks. It, I just can't. Well, it is an old movie, bro. I just can't like. I'd rather watch the old, old... The, the, the Japanese ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Godzilla ones. The one where it's like even worse quality. You'd but, rather watch that than this one? Yes, because it, it, that's actually Godzilla, bro. The, it has the actual Godzilla monsters, the monster verse. Like, I like that more because it's like actually more like story than this random iguana that appeared in New York, bro. I don't fuck with that shit. <laughs> that shit's disgusting, bro. I don't know, bro. I'm I never watch that shit ever again, bro. I, <laughs> I hate that movie, bro. I fucking love that movie, bro. Blah. I fucking love that movie, bro. That shit fucking triggers me every time I think about it, bro. Fuck but, that shit. There's but, a couple uh, movies that do that. But there's also <laughs> a, a, three other movies that are coming out, horror movies that I want, I really want to see, bro. So the first one, I think they're coming out with another Insidious movie. Oh, I saw that, yeah. I think the director is going to be the one who plays um, Ed Warren from the Conjuring movies and also who was in the first... first uh, he's a director? He's going to be, be directing this movie, yeah. His first ever... Uh, you think he'll do good? Michael B. Jordan did good in Creed. <laughs> For his first movie, he did pretty good, bro. See, he did all right, bro. He he would do better than us. Come on, nah, I, I, bro. I I would have made Creed three way better than Michael B. Jordan. 
I don't fuck know. out of here. We would have made that shit way better than him. Like I don't give a fuck what he's not a director. He should just stick to acting straight up. But <laughs> I'm, I'm being that ass. We would have done a way better job. I always say this, bro. With a high production, we would do a good ass job making a fucking movie. Because first of all, we have the creative touch with both of us. We've both seen movies. I've seen way a lot of movies. I know what's stupid, what's not. You know what's corny, what's not. I feel like we would just do a great movie. I feel like what kind of movie do you think we would do good horror? Uh, I, I, I personally, I personally, I feel like that's what would be our strongest like Thing, movie for yeah. us. Yeah, you're probably right. But I feel like we could also pull off uh, an action movie as well. <laughs> Maybe yeah, but. Honestly, I feel like we'll probably just spam the fucking explosions on some Michael Bay shit. You think so? <laughs> probably, bro. I don't know. It's kind of hard to make a good action movie nowadays. It's because of Marvel and shit, but that's besides the point. I, don't, I guess, but whatever. Insidious, that's one movie that, that's coming out that I, I want to watch. Uh, I think it's uh, Evil Dead Rise, I think oh, it's I called. That, 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 one's, that well. one's looking pretty scary. So <laughs> it, I think reviews, early reviews saying it's uh, scary. And there, and then there's um, I don't know if it's a show or if it's a movie, but A24 is coming out with another um, horror movie this year. Oh, now people we saying it's scary, that. so yeah. Bro, you already know A24 is valid. Oh, another and another movie, uh, uh, The Boogeyman. It was it was directed by um, uh, the people who did Stranger Things, and it's a Stephen uh, Stephen King, Stephen King uh, type. Uh, I, I don't know if it's a book. That, that he did, but it, it, the name said it's from Stephen, creator of a Stephen King, and then it said uh, creators of uh, uh, Stranger Things. Damn. Yeah, and that one looked pretty good too, bro. Like for Damn. like a little snippet that I saw. A lot of good movies so far. Damn. Speaking of horror movies, bro, like yo, if y'all want, let us know in the, if you got to this point. Um, for the patrons, if y'all want us to react to scary movies, we'll gladly do it. And then obviously on the podcast, we'll just talk about the movie that we saw. Facts, and, facts, facts. Yeah. Also, uh. I always say this. I want us to react to like uh, the scary animations, uh, scary story anim and animated yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys would like fucking love them. Watch that shit. Want to watch it? But it would be even ten times better watching it with us and shit. We turn the lights off. You know what I'm saying? Make it a scary environment. But um, oh, that's what I wanted to talk about. What? Uh, you see how you said you had to force yourself last episode to record. Oh, okay, go. Okay. All right. So there's there's this. Uh, I saw um. The speech for Kobe. You see Kobe Bryant? Yeah. So you see how he passed away, whatever. Mm, rest in we, peace. Yeah, rest in peace, Kobe. But um, his wife was, like, talking, right? And she was giving a speech for him and stuff. And this is one thing that stuck to me. And I'm just like, you know what? That's how I want to think from now on. Well, so every time he got injured in game, mm -hmm. he wouldn't stop playing. Okay. Like, he tore his Achilles, bro. Achilles is like uh, this shit right here, right? He tore that shit in game. Yeah. He was still playing. He broke his his fucking finger. He was still playing. Yeah. Then he hurt his shoulder. He was still playing. Mm -hmm. Basically what he told his wife, because he she asked him, how come every time you get injured, you still play through the injuries? Yeah. And he's like, I do it for, for the fans. For the fans who probably saved up so much money just to come and watch me play. Fuck. All the supporters who come out just to watch me play. Yeah. And I'm going to sit out just because I have an injury. Mm -hmm. Like, this is to some people, this is the dream come true just to watch me once. And I'm going to disappoint them and shit and get injured. Mm -hmm. He's like, nah. So every time he got injured, he would say, I'm not. He would just force himself to, to, to fucking play. And I feel yeah. like that's, that's how we should think with this shit. Because, I mean, a lot of people watch us. Yeah. They look forward to watching us every fucking week. That's fucking crazy, Dave. You really think about it. That's what I'm saying. It's the truth, though. It's the truth. There's yeah. really people who are right now watching right now yeah. who are like, yo, these motherfuckers posted. I fucking love these guys. Yeah. We love you, too. But it's like, like we have to, like, my boss even told me this. The, the My new boss, the doctor, he's like, yo, listen, like, this is your job, bro. Like, it, it, I don't really give a fuck about the job like that. But like he said, like listen, like the way the way you took it was you thought about you thought you thought about this. Probably. Yes, yes, yes. Like yeah. listen, like this is your job, bro. You leave everything else fucking behind, bro. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? Like anything that's going on and shit, you let you you put that shit, you take that shit out the door, and you just focus on what you got to do now. I feel like that's how we should think, bro. Because I mean, honestly, sometimes I don't feel like recording. Yeah. Sometimes I be tired. Sometimes uh. 
I be going through and shit, but I'm gonna force myself every fucking time to have topics. I always force myself to have topics. That's number one. Yeah. And I always, always make sure I try to have the best energy possible for you guys watching at home, and obviously for you, so we can have a good ass podcast. Bro, I mean, bro, uh, last podcast was the first time ever in a while that I've my energy was off, my everything was off. No, but you're still recorded. No, bro, of which course, is the valid no, part. no, no, of course. But I'm just saying, like, it's the first time I ever had to force myself to have energy like that. Like, cause in, in the beginning, I, I I I saw I know I knew in the beginning like the first recording that we did, it was it was off like my voice my energy wasn't there and then Sean was like his energy wasn't there so then when we recorded again, I forced myself to even when the intro like I had to make sure the intro was good, make sure to laugh make sure everything was good so then the energy would be you know I guess uh, reciprocated or it would, like be able to like you'll be able to feel it but like I said it was the first time I ever had to do that in a while and and. Not, not 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 that it was a bad thing but it was just like i was like yo like this is it, it was crazy to do yeah so but, but good shit though like i mean I'm, I'm happy you fucking went through it and shit you know what i'm saying like yeah. at least it wasn't like uh i don't want to say it like that but say, say it bro well like a bitch like a little bitch yeah you wasn't yeah. bro you actually sucked it up bro i mean i respect you you know what i'm saying like, yeah i had to bro like but even though again the first time ever on the podcast like fucking see me cry like, Oh well, yeah, I kept that shit inside. I mean, inside, not inside, in in the podcast. If you it's, guys cr- saw. it's crazy because they were like, um, they also said like, uh, yeah, like they, they like they like us getting emotional and shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause it's the real, it's the truth. It's just how life is, bro. You're <laughs> ups and we're downs. We're fucking humans. Yeah, ups and downs, good, bad days, whatever. Yeah, it's just how it is. And the same thing <laughs> with uh, you talking about topics, bro. Like I, I know I've been slacking with scary topics and all that stuff. You don't have to worry about scary topics. No, I no, no, no. I know, but like, I like it when when I like it when we both have. But, yeah, because that's how it was before. You have a topic, I will have a topic. You have a, like, I will make clips out about me, then you, then me, then you. Like we just go back and forth, and like I haven't had that in a while. So that's why I recently, like, I have two, I have two pretty good topics, and I, I'm actually proud of it. So it's kind of like I'm gonna start taking topics more seriously. I have. I'm like, um, I'm looking towards the future and other topics, scary topics I could talk about. You know, we should we should take uh, Sal's advice, bro. Like, like uh, he, he posted on Instagram and shit. Um, shout out to Sal for my friends. He, like, the whiteboard thing. Yeah. I don't know if you saw it. Yeah. Like, we should get a whiteboard, bro, and write down a hundred thousand subscribers, bro. Okay. And every morning, just look at that shit and just like, cause I'm gonna I'm gonna do that now. Yeah. I, I need to do it, cause. I need I I, I want to hit that goal, bro. Mm-hmm. Like I, I'm dead ass right now. Like I want to hit that goal by the end of the year. We have to hit that goal by the end of the year, bro. I feel like that's that's our goal that we need. Mm-hmm. Hundred thousand on on um YouTube by the end of the year and a million before that. I know that we're gonna hit that before, but yeah. But a hundred thousand on YouTube by the end of the year, bro. We need that shit. We need that shit. Not yet. We better hit forty k, bro. So we're 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 on good track. <laughs> but what's really gonna get us there is the fucking our our topics, bro. Yeah, I will I forever say this, bro. Our topics is what got us to this point. Yeah, so we just got to keep doing that, bro. No, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> and the only reason why, like, I kind of wanted to start bringing my topics too was I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be honest. Some of your scary topics haven't been hitting like that how they used to. Facts, facts, facts. So I just been like, yo, I gotta get some good topics too, cause like the past, I think the past two, or, I think the past two, just the past two, like they they weren't that good. My like I, even like my leak one, it wasn't that good, so. Yeah. Fuck, fuck it we, I mean we gotta do what we gotta we, we, do We do live and we learn But I'm just saying And uh This also goes to another topic That I saw I saw um It was like uh You know Patrick CC Patrick YouTuber? CC He does like uh Nah I don't know who that is He's, he, he's like a YouTuber uh Commentary YouTuber He does like break Not breakdowns He uh Talks about like People's come ups People's like uh Downfalls Downfalls Stuff like that And he made a video about Aiden Ross And I'm not I don't really watch him like that I'm not really a big fan of him On like uh, Aiden Ross Yeah I'm not really uh, familiar with, with him like that like i have i see like a few clips here and there but every like and he has moved to kick and he and he has been controversial recently kick? but yeah the like, fuck is kick oh it's another like streaming platform that that signed him to, to when, join. I, when i think of kick i think of like the, <laughs> the fucking message right yeah no nah, but he signed to a new streaming platform whatever that's besides the point and in the video he was just talking about his his rise to fame and all that stuff and then there was a point where um he got banned or whatever, and then he he felt like hit the world was like it was it was the end of the world for him, and he also because you know you know you remember when Aiden was at um 
was getting a bunch of views from his fucking peak with the whole fucking being sus to rappers, stuff like that. Yeah, seriously. he was getting a bunch was, of fucking views. He was views. like the first, like, the first big streamer, bro. Nah, no, no, bro, Ninja. Uh, no, but but like, oh, like uh, like, cause he, he, cause he, all right, Ninja was the gaming shit. Cause, okay, you know what? Because then he started, he started like the e dates. He started like, he, he, uh, not gonna lie, he, st- he started, he started the uh, the WL community. I don't know what that means. WL, so there's two communities in Twitch. So there's Poggers and there's W and L. Poggers is like the, the game SQC, Valkyrie, uh, uh, Pokemon type side. Uh, Hasanabi, I think he's probably one of it. I don't know if you know who any of these are, but and then uh, WL community is the is they basically call it WNL because in the chat, yo spam W spam L or they've been like yo L something L this L W that. So like Kaisena and all of them. Yeah, so Kaisena, Your Rage, Bruce, Aiden, like all of them, a- all the AMP members. Speed. That's, that's WL community, but whatever. So they were talking about that, and there was a point where. Uh, like I said, he was getting a bunch of views, and then he basically, I think his lowest view points was like 30, 30K, right? So he, he went from like 100-something K to 30K views, like every every stream. And it said it got to him, right? And then it kind of got low, me... The low... The low, the low viewers got to him, because people would say, yo, you fell off, like, you this and that, right? And it, kinda, it got me thinking, because like, what if one day, like, l- let's say we're... Uh, we're getting a bunch of views, right? And then, like, some some days are... Because uh, that, that's inevitable. The views are going to go down. But I don't want us to end to up think. To end up thinking, like, yo, like, we're falling off because our, our things go down. Because 30K to, uh, is fucking amazing in Twitch, bro. You're basically, you're still successful at 30 fucking K viewers, bro, on yeah, Twitch. But, all right, so I see what you're saying. The only, the only way that I know it's going to get to me is when I feel like we did something wrong. That's the only. That's the only reason why sometimes it gets to me because I'm like, we we could have prevented this shit, mm-hmm. but either we slacked, mm-hmm. or we didn't push hard enough. That's well, that's that's the only thing that I feel like. Well, well, I'm saying like so, uh, not, all right. So that I get, but I'm just saying like, take those elements out of it. Then, like, let's say we do push hard enough. Let's say we do. Try or it's to not, make it's the not best. gonna get to me. It's just I'm just gonna be like, fuck it. We just have to keep moving forward. Mm. That's it. Like that's that's the only time it bothers me, bro, is when I feel like that shit could have been prevented because we could have pushed it harder, bro. Yeah. Like that one week we we took off, we should have been like, you know what? Let's just re-record. Mm-hmm. Let's just re-record the episode and let's post the episode because we have to post it, bro. Yeah. I feel like before we were like that. We're like we're never missing an episode. We're posting an episode every week, the same fucking day. Yeah. Posting a certain amount of clips every fucking week. That's when we were hungry, bro. In the beginning, like yeah. I feel like that's 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 where it's like it got a little like, all right, bro, we're we're getting too like comfortable. Maybe we're not as hungry as we were before because that's why I want us to have that goal in mind. The hundred k. We had yeah. a goal of the, when we were small. We had the goal to get big in this shit, yeah. get an audience. We already did that, mm-hmm. but we need a we need another goal because without goals, bro, we just we're not doing really. We're not moving forward. Mm-hmm. So we just need the goals to have that in mind to be hungry again. Yeah. To have something to like, I right, we're working for this, we're grinding for this. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah. I agree. That's that's the only thing I feel like. Like, like that's why I got tight. Uh, especially recently, like you, like I'm not even gonna lie. Like my topics have been asked and shit. So I yeah. feel like you see. That's why I feel like it bothers me, bro. Because I'm like, so yeah, I could. It could have been prevented. I could have been better. Yeah. We could have. We could have also. Made more money this month by po- not missing a week. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that could have been prevented, bro. Also, what gets me tight too is like nothing to do with us. It's fucking YouTube, also. Because uh, every time I'm about to post, it automatically goes to yellow mark, and oh, it gets and that uh, fucks up our, our our money too, bro. Why does it do that? I don't know. It's probably I, I don't know what why it does that, bro. But sometimes maybe because of the cursing in the in the beginning too much, or I don't know exactly. So then we should just do the cursing till the very, very, like, nah. fi- after the 10 minute mark, no? No, nah, I think it's like after like two minutes, I think. Also, or not. something so, like that. I don't, I forgot what it was, bro. But basically like, even sometimes when there's no cursing in the in the beginning, I don't know why, maybe because certain times we talk about, I don't know, but it gets me tight because that's sometimes the reason why we don't get paid a lot because uh, it fucks it up, the money. The yellow mark, doesn't it, it, we don't get paid uh good enough on those videos and then when it does go green it's too late it's too late or like the money just starts like uh like, like let's say we post right it's yellow mark till we reach 10k views now those 10k views don't really don't mean count. nothing because it's gonna start counting after the 10k views i see what you're saying well yeah uh, so that, that that'd be getting me tight 
But anyways, we just got to keep pushing forward. Like, I feel like we're doing good so far. Yeah. I, just, I think we just have to remain consistent with everything like we were doing in the beginning. And you got to tee up with your topics, too. And I got to tee up with bringing topics. We we, we uh turn up with topics and shit. I feel like our topics this today, you guys are going to be excited for. Our topics are really, really good this today, I feel like. And yeah. Yeah. I don't really have nothing. No, no, no. Oh, I actually do have. Yeah, you did. Uh, cause I, I, I interrupted you, bro. All right. So, uh, this thing happened in 2020. A lot of you guys know what the fuck happened, and uh, so it happened in 2020, and it was August 4th of 2020. Uh huh. So I'm gonna show you the video. I just want you to like watch it and shit. You don't really have to say anything. Say anything, but I mean, you could if you want. Is that like a is that a nuke? Or is that a bomb? Wait. I'm so confused right now. What the fuck is going on? Guys, bro. Oh man, that that's that'd be so fucking scary to be in, bro. The people. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh, I I, I think I seen this part. I seen this specific video. Bro, he reacted so fast, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Everybody's saying, yo, survival instincts kicked that ass. That ass, it had to. But like, what, what, the, what the fuck was that? Like, what so happened? So basically, uh, this shit was in, um, I want to, I want to say it right in Beirut, mm -hmm. Beirut port explosion. That's that's what it was called. This was around like Turkey, like, um, <sighs> like around around like the like kind of like the Middle East type shit. It was mm -hmm. in Lebanon. Okay. That's where it happened. Lebanon. Okay. So uh this happened in uh Beirut, Lebanon. Mm -hmm. And this basically was uh a warehouse, right? Okay. And the warehouse had like um a bunch of like like fucking chemicals that wasn't supposed to be there and it wasn't contained in the right way. Yeah. The chemical was called ammonium nitrate. What the fuck is that? It's like a fucking I don't know exactly what it's used for, but it was just illegally kept there. Okay. Like like it was confiscated. So basically first it was on a boat. Mm -hmm. And I don't know exactly what it's used for. I should have done research on that, but it was on a boat and shit. And the authorities confiscated it and shit. They put it there, and nobody, I guess, nobody took care of it and shit like that. Mm -hmm. I could be wrong with all of this shit, but I just know that it was in the warehouse. Okay. And then um, it was stored improperly, and it was two thousand and seven hundred fifty tons of this shit, right? Yeah, it's a fucking lot, bro. Which is equivalent to 1.1 kilotons of TNT, bro. Damn. So this shit was like, bro, that shit is powerful, bro. I really want to know what the fuck this is used for. I'm about to search it up, bro, actually. Fuck it. What is ammonium nitrate used for? What the fuck? Ammonium nitrate is used as a fertilizer. It contains more nitrogen than fertilizers. It is also used in explosives. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm like, so there you go. So there you go, bro. That's crazy because the, the, like, a nuclear bomb is a nitrogen bomb. Yeah. So it's so fucking crazy. But anyway. But the way it looked, looked like a fucking, like a, I guess you could say like a like nuke. A nuke. Yeah. yeah. That so this shit ended up uh, killing 218 people. Uh, 7,000 people are inj were injured from this shit. 300,000 people were homeless because of this shit. Um, and this shit was so powerful that it literally, like, it was felt in the whole country of Lebanon, bro. Like, bro, like imagine this shit, like... I was about to say, imagine it happened in the, the where the ferry is that type thing. We would have felt that shit. We probably would have... Nah, we would have definitely felt that shit, bro. bro. I, I don't know. Do you think, do you think we... Uh, we wouldn't be dead, right? Nah, nah, nah. It, it's a little too deep, but we probably would have... Definitely felt it, bro. We probably would have heard it, felt it, felt the vibration and shit. Cause this yeah. shit, this shit was classified as a three point three seismic like activity, bro. Meaning that it's like it was like a fucking earthquake, bro. Damn. That's how powerful it was. 
and it was it's considered one of the most powerful not not the most powerful one of the most powerful like accidental non nuclear explosions in the fucking in history, bro. That's that's crazy. That's fucking crazy. Just just seeing the video of like how fast the the sa- the not not the sound the, um the shock wave the shock wave was like going and then like just seeing the the buildings, buildings around destroy, it destroy right bro, that's scary just like oh my gosh I don't I don't even know how I don't I don't want to imagine how that feels no never bro and that's not even a nuclear bomb now imagine I know a nuclear now, now nah. imagine a nuclear bomb bro. if a nuke would hit the the what, what the what is it the Hunter River yeah if a nuke would hit the Hunter River or like just hit the uh, Manhattan, bro, we we're, dead. Die. Yeah, we we're, dead. we're dead. We're dead. We're dead, bro. If we hit the ferry, we would die. Yeah, that's OD. Yup. Well, it's so it's so crazy what like what humanity has made, like what weapons humanity has made in the past, whatever how many years we've been alive. Oh, like, how 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 easily we could just destroy ourselves, bro, accidentally too. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. Like, imagine that. Like, you were talking about it earlier, bro. Imagine that AI decided to fucking nuke everything. Like, we would just die. Yeah. I mean, th- that's literally the only way we could die. Nuclear, uh, uh, natural disasters too, but, like, nuclear warfare. Be basically deleting ourselves, bro. Yeah. That's OD. That, the, the reason why I wanted to talk about that shit is because I saw the, the, the clip, the jet ski clip. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I, and, and, like, it was going viral on TikTok or whatever and shit and, yeah. and Instagram everywhere. And I was just like, like I like, remember seeing this shit, mm-hmm. bro. I just didn't know when. My brother was like, oh, that, that was Beirut and shit. I'm like, yo, I, f- I feel like I remember this shit. This shit happened like a minute ago. I think we were in uh, This happened during quarantine, no? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, three years ago. 2020, yeah. So I remember hearing about this shit, seeing it too. So then I, I looked into it and it just looks mad fucking scary, the different angles and stuff. Like, Yeah. The motherfuckers that were so close. There was this one angle where... It was a guy so close to it. Like, there was... A highway was right next to it and shit, bro. Like, imagine what happened to the cars and stuff. Like, the people in the buildings. Like, those buildings that got destroyed, what the fuck happened yeah. to them? Yeah, bro. <laughs> like, the the people recording, right? Those are the survivors? Or are those people that they found their phones? I don't know. That's that's what I want to know. I don't know, bro. Maybe they survived somehow. Because, like, the, like, that one that was literally right there in the road... With the oh yeah, phone. and then it looked like he his phone went flying. Or some yeah, that's shit, what I'm right? saying. Like I don't know, if, uh, bro. Like I do not know. I do not know. That's that's crazy. We that us wouldn't know, bro. Like last minutes before a disaster type thing. The scary one was also the one um like on top of the building too. Like it was yeah. kind of close and shit. Yeah. And then the jet ski, obviously, that's like fucking crazy, bro. He was right there. Hmm. But at least he went to the water. That, really shit saved, that shit saved him, bro. But his ears, his, his ears are probably fucked though. Nah, is not. Oh, they're not. Bro, the water protected him, bro. No, but he was close. I was like, how, how didn't the explosion? Like, what the fuck? The water protected him, bro. Damn, bro, the water's different, bro. But what's crazy too is how uh, noise, not noise, yeah, noise travels too. How like it exploded. And then it took a while for the the, the big ass pop to uh-huh. to uh, uh, go off, like the the certain miles, right? And yeah, shit. it's like it's like thunder, bro. Yeah, you see, that's why they say, uh, like when lightning goes off, mm-hmm. count the seconds of when thunder hits, because that's how far it is, or how far, how far it is. The seconds is a mile. Also, if it's like three seconds, what, it's three, three miles? miles away. The storm. What the fuck? Oh, okay. So what do you think of this, bro? All right, we're back. So I don't, I don't know if the bill has been passed. I don't know, if, uh, I don't know the exact details, but I just saw like a news outlet, whatever. <sighs> so apparently, there's a bill that Montana wants to pass that's banning certain scientific theories, right? And guess, and guess what the fuck the uh, guess what the fuck theory they want to ban? And we talked about it last podcast too, or dinosaurs? No, 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 no. Oh no, we did talk about last podcast, but not not dinosaurs. What? Um, yeah. They why? Why? Well, I, I don't know. They didn't say why. They want to ban the theory of evolution. Yeah. So they don't want us to believe that. No. So what do I think of that? Yeah. Like, well, do you think like? You see, now that's just fucking stupid. Like, why? Well, how does that help them? 
who knows what bro. is that doing like what the fuck is see this is a, another thing that i don't understand bro like what is believing something that happened in the past how does that affect the future f- right now you yeah. know what i'm saying what is how, how does that affect us bro even if we did descend from monkeys bro what is that what is that doing for us now bro yeah all right maybe we want maybe it, it it tells us that we we might evolve into something else eventually. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But even if we didn't evolve from monkeys, like you banding the fact that they don't teach that in schools maybe anymore or whatever. Yeah. Like, what what is that gonna do? I don't know. Like like you said, humans are just dumb. Like even dinosaurs. Like even if they did exist or not. Like yeah. Do know, you think bro. we evolved from monkeys, bro? Be honest. Be honest, bro. Uh, it sounds. I mean, it sounds possible. Yes. No. Like it sounds. It sounds. Um, it's like when when people talk about uh, the theory, the theory of evolution, it sounds like, like yes, like it, it's it's possible, but at the same time, why the fuck? I, I'm pretty sure this is this is this is explained somewhere. Maybe you know the answer to it, like that the fact that there's still um, monkeys. monkeys and gorillas out there still. So what like why are they still a thing if we had, um evolve advanced, from, evolve from them yeah maybe also cuz uh cuz there i mean there is a lot of species of of apes of different animals and apes yeah. and like, for example there's different uh canines there's different um like the cat family you know what yeah. i'm saying there's different types yeah so you're certain, right you're right certain certain of those animals evolved into what like for example there's people who say that dogs are descendants of wolves. No, yeah, I was I was thinking thinking the same thing because if we're the sense of the sentence of monkeys, it would make sense because there's still dogs, there's wolves, there's cats, there's lions, tigers. You see what I'm saying? Um, so some are more like wild. Yeah. Some got domesticated and shit. Maybe like they just they kept like reproducing and learning those habits. Like yo, this is how we're gonna live and shit. And then they. That's how they they were created now. Yeah, you're right. Maybe that could have been us, bro. Like maybe we did, cause we're 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 mammals and shit. We're, we have a lot of similarities. I mean, to monkeys, we have hands. They have they have hands too. Obviously, yeah. they're a little stronger and stuff. And I know I do know like the early humans. They were called certain things. I don't know the fucking exact names to it, but there was like like what like what are we like Homo sapiens? Homo sapiens. Yeah. yeah I don't I don't know what the previous ones were. Uh, Homo. I know there was different ones. That's what I'm saying. That's There's what I'm also saying. like a. That that's that's the reason why like uh evolution is not like uh <gasps> Julia <laughs> Hi Hi Julia What are you doing? <laughs> that's why there's also like um uh like so there's this thing called the missing link. Okay. So it's like it goes from boom boom boom. And then that one link is that the missing one that they don't know that, like, not smart, not smart, a little smart, a little smart. And then that one link before that one species of us, uh-huh. before we officially turned into what we are today, was never found or they don't know what it is. So that's why it's still not proven. They don't know if we actually evolved from monkeys because there's a missing link. Okay. A missing, like, section of. How did we go from this to this to this? Okay, to what we are now, bro. Fucking, I don't know, bro. See, shit like this be ma- be making me question about like life, like if everything that we learn is fucking fake or real or not. But I think we'll never. Do you think we'll know the answer to it? Like when we die, like God will tell us, yo, like you guys did really evolve from apes, or I just created you guys. We 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 will only know the answer in the end. Speaking of uh, fucking dumbass humans, a uh, d- 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 little quick, a uh, little quick too. I don't know if you want to get deep into it or not, but apparently in Mississippi, uh, they want to also pass a bill of uh, bringing back, s- not not bringing back this completely, but like it's like something similar to it, like Jim Crow laws. Jim Crow laws in uh, Mississippi. Bro, I'm not like, uh, I'm not good with history, bro. So you have to. Oh, Jim Crow laws is like uh, when. Um, it's basically laws that that would basically treat African Americans like really really unfair. On some racist shit. Yes, it's, it's like a city in it's like a city in um in Mississippi, bro. Now nah, this is getting out of hand. Only in fucking states like that, bro. But I the, swear, the crazy bro. thing is, Mississippi is a uh, is um 
well, the city that they want to do it in, I think it's called Jackson. I think it's, I think it's like the capital of it. Uh, they want to. It's like a majority black uh, community. Or? Community, yes, yeah, like eighty percent <laughs> African Americans or black people, and then the rest is white people and stuff like that. And they only want to do it in like the the um the what's that shit called? The suburban areas of uh of that city or whatever. Like they're gonna like get like some laws with like uh. It's like something to do with like uh, writing, uh, voting rights, stuff like that. You know, sometimes, sometimes like, um, like you see how the majority is um, African American, black, yeah, um, and the minority is uh, Caucasian, whatever, white. You mean the, the the minority is Caucasian white? You said that the majority is black people, right? And the rest. Oh is- yeah, no, okay, 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 yeah. I got I got confused because I, I you said minority, so I was like, yeah, uh, that, well, okay, in okay, that okay, city, okay. right? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. Uh, like sometimes I be thinking, like, do you think like they feel like they're uh, not they don't have power like in those cities type shit? Like, do you like do you feel like they feel threatened? Threatened, like, probably, like, yeah. Because so- sometimes I be feel I be feeling like they feel like that, like like especially at my job, they see it, like everybody is like white there, bro. Mm-hmm. And they see the one Mexican and they're like, yo, we got to watch out for him. Not, or, not even just like that. It's kind of like they feel like maybe a little weird about it. Maybe because they're not used to me or whatever. Yeah. But like, I feel like that's like that. They see more Mexicans coming in and they like, I feel like they feel like, like weird. They feel like we're out of place. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I like, yeah, I don't know, bro. It's, it's weird. When I, when I saw it, I'm like, bro, what the fuck is going on? Like, why? Like, why? You, uh, why is there even a conversation now? Exactly. Like, fucking... That shit was a long time ago. Exactly. They're, they're, try, they're, they're doing weird shit, bro, nowadays. Like, you see, this is what I'm talking about. I feel like I feel like we're going backwards instead of going forwards. Like, a lot of shit is just, like, instead of trying to move forward, trying to be, like, better humans and stuff, I feel like we're just fucking up. We got lost somewhere in the sauce. And I guess, I don't know who, it, I guess it's up to our kids to try to fix that, but our kids might even be lost. Yeah. So, I feel like we're just fucked as humanity. We just have to do the best we can do. We try to teach our family the our families the way. Try to be the best fucking people we could be, I guess. Facts. Oh, and before we get on to the next topic, uh, a fucking represent a representative. I don't know what he was, bro. He was like in a it was like a courtroom, bro. He was like, "Yo, like, can we add to the bill? Like, yo, can we bring back lynching?" What the hell, bro? Motherfucker! He said it with a straight face too. He was serious. What? That guy has hate inside his heart, bro. bro. He probably has something, bro. Like some PTSD, something. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I really do sometimes think that white people feel threatened with like minorities, like, bro. I, I I do too. I feel like I feel like they think we're out of place or something. But this isn't even your spot. Yeah. This is low key. This is stone everybody land. spot, yo. Stone land. And I, this, yo, again. I love I love white people. I love Caucasians. I have nothing against anybody. You know what I'm saying? I don't have anything against anyone from anywhere. I'm just fucking saying like that's just my experience here, from where I live. Like it just sometimes feels like that. It feels like when there's a group of white people, they look at you different because I don't know if they feel like you're out of place, you're you're not in the right spot, or they feel threatened, or whatever the case may be. But like I sometimes feel like that. Maybe it's my mind playing games. Yeah. That's just sometimes how I be feeling in certain spots, bro. I, I agree, bro. I agree. But I love you guys, white white folks. Facts. And well, with that being said, uh, that's all our regular topics for for today. Let's get into scary shit. Before before we continue with the scary stuff, you guys can shut off the lights. Get your snacks. Oh, you should have been had your snacks already, bro. But headphones, lights off. Let's get this shit started. All right, I'll, I'll start it off, bro, because then you could uh, um, bounce off of it. Bounce off it really good, actually. All right, go ahead. All right, so um, this is a case about a, a woman. Her name is Annabelle Gomez Lopez. And I don't know if you ever heard about this lady before, but uh, I feel like when I start talking about it, you're going to be like, yo, I know what you're talking, what you're going to say. Okay. But for the people who don't know who, who, who she is, she was a street vendor, and she would regularly uh, post up uh, around. Uh, around train stations to sell tamales. Okay. Right, and she was known for she was known around her neighborhood to to be uh, the tamalera, whatever. Yeah. And one day she was out uh, selling tamales, and uh, her neighbors were uh, like they said they smelled a, a a strange odor coming from a house, like a gas leak or like it was like a like a like a annoying gas smell. So they called um 
they called authorities to to check to, ch- to check out the house because they were worried and they go knock on the door and always answering because he's out working so he's not home and um they realize like the situ- the, su- the situation is uh worse than it seems so they try to make they try to uh make this evacuate the, the building no 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 they try to go inside that the, uh annabelle's house and they oh. end up going inside annabelle's house they look around and then they they end up finding um a little girl a little girl's body cut into pieces right right and then they go they, and since they know that she's out um San Tamales, they go out looking for her and they they do arrest her they catch her at her regular spot or whatever what the fuck and then it gets fucking crazy bro cuz uh she ends up at, whatever she gets she gets arrested and then she ends up confessing to everything bro so she said that this is this is this wasn't her first time doing this shit right so she has killed before killed before yes so she's so, a serial killer yes so the first the very first time she killed somebody she said that during during this time she was uh she was going broke cuz she had spent all her investment money on um on the ingre- like the basically the money that she used to buy ingredients for the tamales right so she was desperate and then uh so she wasn't able to buy it so she was panicking. She was like, yo, fuck, like, what the fuck am I going to do the next day? Like, I'm not going to be able to sell the miles the next day. So coincidentally, she sees a little girl, or not even a little girl. I don't know if it was a little girl or, or just a regular, like, teenage girl. But she sees a girl, and uh, she says to herself, Anna, there's uh, there's your meat. So she, because uh, the little girl or the girl was looking for her parents. So she says, like, yeah, like, I'll go help you uh, look for your parents. She, she, whatever, she brings her into her house. She then obviously kills her, and then she chops her body also, and she uses her body, her meat, and put to make tamales. To make tamales. So all this time, she's been selling tamales with human, uh, with human meat, bro. Yo. And in her confession too, bro, she said that she's killed more than fifty, uh, fifty women, and all the fifty women, bro, she's have used tamales. have been tamales, bro. Yes, yes. So just imagine that, bro. You're you're constantly going to uh, so fucking get tamales from this from this lady. from this lady, bro. And then you see on the news, oh, lady, uh, Annabel Gomez Lopez has been arrested for uh, for usage of human meat in her tamales. Nah, bro. I would have thrown up right as soon as I fucking heard that shit. I would have thrown up, bro. Like <laughs> I told my I, mom that she said the exact same thing. I would I would have fucking vomited. I would have been sick for days, bro. Just imagining that shit. I feel like I'm pretty sure that would have probably. Fuck the people's bodies, bro. Oh, like, yes. Like, that shit had to had, like have some negative consequences, especially if, like... Because I know my mom, right? Every time she goes to work, she gets tamales in the morning, bro. Yeah. So now, like, imagine getting that constantly every day, bro. Eating human fucking meat every fucking day, bro. Yeah, bro. Something had must have happened to somebody, bro. It did. It definitely did. There's no way. Like, she's... Bro, I'm pretty sure she sold to a lot of people. That shit reminded me of, like, the case we said before with oh, the, the... with the guy with the burgers? With the guy with the burgers. Yeah. He was using fucking human meat for his fucking burger stand. And the reason why, the reason I found out about this case was, uh... Because you know how we talked about Mujer Casa de la Vida Real? Like, this um, shit was a case in there? This was a... This was an episode, yeah. Seriously? Yeah, people will comment, like, uh... How, like, why has nobody talked about the case with the woman talking about the malas? And then I looked it up. And that's actual thing. I was like, what the fuck is this? That's, nah, that's bugged out. So this was a Mujer Casas de Villarreal episode. Yeah, bro. I'm pretty sure if someone, if someone re- remembers that episode, you comment it down. But that, that, that was a Mujer Casas uh, episode. God me, damn, yeah. bro. Like, I would have fucking been triggered, bro. Like, <laughs> motherfucker too. turned me into a cannibal without me trying to be a cannibal, bro. Like, and they, and they probably was like, yo, ah, this shit is mad good, bro. Bro. I don't even want to think about it. Like, it just, it gives me chills. Because it's like, yo, how the fuck does, how do you not notice, like, the, the meat, taste. bro? Yeah. <laughs> nah, yo, that's crazy, yeah, bro. bro. Fuck that. Like, just, like, imagine how they opened up the tamal and it looks like, how it looks on the inside. Speak, like, I, I think I have, like, pictures. Like, maybe it's not the specific, uh, like. No, I, 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 I got, like, weird fucking feeling in my body, bro. Maybe. I, I don't even want to think about that shit. Maybe it's not, like, the actual, like, human uh, tamales that, sh- that she did. But, like, I guess you could. Oh, maybe it is, bro. Hold on. Let me let me search it up. Not because this is blurred. It's blurred. Like the, from the shit that I saw, it's blurred. Hold oh, up. Hold nah, up. bro. Maybe it is. Tama- Let's see. Annabelle Gomez. All right, let's see. Uh, oh, I think it is, bro. I'm see. not sure. Let me see. I think I think this might be part of it. 
Because they used this shit, but it was blurred. Or maybe they did it for the effect, bro. But just imagine, and you see a tamale like that, and not you not knowing it's human meat. Bro, fucking sick, bro. Sick lady. Like, it's crazy. Like, af after her first time doing it, she was like, it she became it, doing it. it became easy for her to, to just get women and kill them. That's crazy. And I think that shit overheated. And Perfect timing though, because you said everything. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. Uh, the camera overheated right now, and I know it overheated because when I saw it, it was like on thirty percent. I guess we'll take a little break and uh, get back into it. Facts. And back from our schedule. Back to our schedule, regular program. Oh well, fuck. Back to our regular schedule programming. Anyways, uh, as he was saying, so is there anything else you want to say with your case before I get bro, into I my said, topic? I, I said everything I had to say, bro. Do you have anything to say about my case? Well, basically, uh, that kind of leads on to the next topic that I had, which was uh, a Mujer Casas de Vida Real episode. It's another dark episode, one of the oh, darkest episodes gosh. that ever came out in the whole like series and shit. That's a dark episode as well, but this is a, a very, very disturbing one. Uh, is it more disturbing than the the one uh, with the with the with the little kid with the eyes? It has to do with a little girl. Oh my gosh! Okay. So it's equally as disturbing. Everything re revolving little kids is kind of disturbing. And yeah. Shit. So again, trigger warning right now for anybody who's sensitive to anything with kids, anything with like, what like what 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 else is this sensitive to? Mm. Just that. I guess S A. Okay, so anything like that, just be, we're letting you know right now. This is not no joke. This is some real shit. So and this shit, and this shit, this shit has happened multiple times. I also know like a lot of people who've probably gotten like abused, like yeah, um, and they never like spoke up about it, like mm -hmm. by family members and stuff like that. Yeah. So this episode is called Niña Madre. We have for, for those of you who don't know Spanish, the the what is it um niña madre would it be little girl mom uh, the little girl mother i guess yeah so basically it's a a young mom but she wasn't supposed to be a mom bro this was a little girl so basically the episode starts off with like a, a regular family you know two parents yeah a little girl her name is laura right mm -hmm. and uh they're just sitting at the table and the grandparent the grandpa is there and uh it starts off kind of weird you know what i'm saying like the 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 it's just a regular day but then it starts getting weird because the daughter laura is kind of forced to sit on the grandpa grandpa's lap yeah and like, she feels kind of uncomfortable and shit but like the parents aren't really realizing and stuff mm -hmm. so like she feels uncomfortable and shit whatever and then uh whatever time goes on whatever they're they're eating and stuff they finish eating she says can i go to my room whatever she she goes to the room and stuff and he goes in there and then he starts touching her. Mm -hmm. He obviously starts doing weird shit to her. I don't know. I'm not going to get too much into detail. Yeah. And then um, whatever. She's just a little weird. Like she, she, she stops talking and stuff. And then the grandpa comes out of the room, right? But the daughter hasn't come out. So the mom goes in, checks in on her. And, and she's like, yo, like. Grandpa's weird and stuff. Like, he does weird shit to me, whatever. Oh, so, oh, so she's, like, tr she's trying to warn the mom about the grandpa? Yeah, so so the mom doesn't believe her, though. Of course. But the mom yells course. at her, yeah, gets tight at her, yeah. you know what yeah. I'm saying? She's like, yo, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Apologize to your grandpa type shit. Yeah. So he, she does whatever. Then that same night, same thing again. But he I, goes into the room. Yeah. He sneaks in there. He starts doing whatever he has to do. Disgust the motherfucker. Yeah, so S.A.? Yeah. Okay. And then, um... The mom basically ends up telling the dad what's going on, right? Mm -hmm. And then the dad is like, nah, that's disrespectful. Like, we have to fucking slap the shit out of this little girl so she, like, knows how to respect her elders and stuff. Well, She's so, made... so, so both parents don't believe her? Bro, this could have literally been prevented, bro. Oh, my God. Okay. And then, um, whatever, more, more time goes <sighs> on and shit, and she's still getting abused by her grandpa, right? Yeah. Until one day, one day out of nowhere, she, she just, they're, they're having breakfast and shit, they're eating. And she throws up. The little girl. The little girl throws up. Mm -hmm. And, like, the parents are like, yo, what the fuck? This is my, my daughter's sick. Whatever. Let's rush her to the hospital. Yeah. They rush her to the doctors. They find out that nothing is wrong with her. So the grandpa was already worried as soon as, like, they said that they're going to take her to the doctor. Because he was yeah. like, yo, don't take her to the doctor. Whatever. It's fine. It'll probably just pass. It's just the illness. They come back home. And they're like, the, the grandpa looks mad relief. Like, oh, nothing there. Like, she's good or whatever. They didn't find nothing. All right, good. And, and then... 
the parents are like, yeah, they didn't find anything, but they're going to do some tests on her. Mm-hmm. And then he was like. What kind of tests? Like, he was, like, like panicking. He, he was panicking and shit, yeah. right? So they go do tests. They determine that the. Little girl's fucking pregnant. Little girl's pregnant, bro. So they tell the mom and shit. She couldn't believe it. She was like, what the fuck is going on? They start questioning the little girl. And the little girl's like, yeah, my grandpa's been doing this shit to me. It's been going on for a long time. I've been trying to tell my parents, but they don't fucking believe me. Yeah. They come back home. They end up telling the dad. Wait, if I'm not mistaken, because I, I, this is, like, I'm, like, getting, like, visions of the episode. Like, does the dad end up uh, going to, like, th- like th- is there a scene where the, the grandpa is, like, on a little stroll, a little walk, he's like tripping over his feet type shit, and then his dad ends up like beating, beating him or killing him or something like that. So the dad ends up bring like getting tight as fuck, finds out, takes a machete, goes and gets, uh, goes to where the grandpa is, and he kills him. Okay, I never knew that was a Mujer Casa de Verde uh, episode, bro. Because I remember seeing that specific episode. <laughs> yeah, that was a Mujer Casa de Verde episode, and this shit happened in real life, bro. Remember, all these stories are nah, real yeah, life yeah, cases, yeah, 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 yeah. and this shit is a real life case, bro. I'm not. They, obviously, they don't say who um, who it was, who it was, or whatever like yeah. that. But keep in mind, this shit happens everywhere. everywhere. Yeah, of course. It's like it's crazy how normal that thing is. Exactly, and uh, I mean, it's crazy how preventable it is. If like, uh, but sometimes they're scared. You know what I'm saying? To even say, bro, stuff. like, I, yeah, like I've I've heard of like a lot of stories like this, bro. And like, it, it it triggers me because like, it the parents or like the family don't believe the victim most of the time not even just that also like sometimes they don't have the courage to like even to speak, speak out they yeah, don't want to yeah, like yeah. have family problems and shit they don't want they feel like they're scared to say anything you know what i'm saying so it's like <sighs> this, this shit this shit always gets to me and stuff but that is one of the most disturbing uh cases on there and stuff it is like top 10 maybe yeah bro fuck that like that's sad bro um and this happens in like Maybe like poor countries a lot as well. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I seen this video on TikTok where it was like this uh family and like they were interviewing the the family and it was just the mom and her daughters. The daughter yeah. was pregnant, and the mom was just kind of like, yeah, like the the dad literally got her pregnant and left. Like her own his own daughter, bro. Like, what the fuck is going through that guy's yeah. head, bro? Like, I I think you mentioned this before, bro. Um. When it comes to raising your your kids to, to teach them about secrets, like uh, I don't know if it was you that that talked about this. Yeah, right? yeah, right. Like secrets aren't good. Yeah, like you should always tell your parents everything, like anything that bothers you, anything that goes on, no matter what. Like that's literally the biggest fear. So, yeah, that's 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 a fucking sick, sick motherfucker and a sick, sick fucking story, bro. That ass. Like honestly, I would probably do the same thing that the dad did. If nah, I, yeah, if for I found sure. out some for shit sure, like yeah. that, like I would probably go crazy, bro. Like, yeah. And the fact that I, it would give me, the fact like like putting myself in like that the dad shoes. Like I, I'm not saying like I, like I, I would I would 100 percent believe my daughter or my or my son, but just like the fact that yo why did why didn't I listen to my daughter? It's probably gonna stick with that motherfucker for mad long, right? Yeah. Fuck. The episode ends with like. Like them holding the baby, like. That's what I'm saying. Like I feel like I've seen this episode before, bro. Like I, uh, I remember, like, uh, cause I remember a little girl being pregnant, and then I remember a grandpa, and then I remember a dad, like, ended up hurting the the, the grandpa. I, funny thing is, I remember watching this too. It, was, it probably aired and shit, like. It, like no, it definitely aired, but it's like, it, like it's just like a disturbing episode. A lot of, like you said, a lot of episodes on that show is fucking disturbing. Oh yeah, shit. yeah, and oh. And another thing for the people listening right now, the people watching right now, since the because I, I know we posted a Mujer Casos uh, case before, and nobody uh, ever talked about that that show. So what we're gonna do for you guys every month, we're gonna have one dark episode of that Mujer Casos. One de each. La one, we should do one each. One each. Cause I, I, I feel like, I feel that's your thing, bro. I, I, I'll try to I'll try to bring on some like more um uh mano uh what is it mano peluda cases. And then I'll, I'll try one or one day I'll, I'll also bring up a, a a case of that shit too because I also saw something else about a uh, Rosa de Guadalupe um uh, uh, uh episode shit. and of course I haven't done research yet but as I'm saying like whenever we do it I'm gonna have that ready for you I guess that could be the word uh, for today what uh, what uh, Rosa de Guadalupe okay that could be the episode for today if you guys got to this point All right. uh, for the English for the English speakers Rose. 
And then for the Spanish speakers, Rosa. All right, fine. Yeah, that's that's fire. All right, so um, <clears throat> I I do have a uh, another topic. I don't know if you want to say uh. Uh, no, you could go, bro. All right, so I do have um. Should I mention the the um this uh the church video? Uh, yeah, you can go. Let me All right, see. so guys, so we were on um. I am friends. I, the I the I am friends podcast. Yes, we were on the podcast like last year. Last year. Last year. And when we went, we we uh we showed him a video that we haven't showed ya. It's a very creepy video. Like when I show ya, ya gonna be like, "What the fuck is this?" And it, yeah, so especially if you have your lights off right now, bro, it's it's weird. All right, so I'm gonna pull up the video, guys. Uh, I don't have to be screen recording, right? Nah, you just send me it, bro. Like, and then I'll add it to the video. All right, guys. So this is it right here. Um, it's uh, oh, shit. So it's called uh, go. Padre Oye Gritos and Nisa. For those English speakers, a priest heard screams while a mass is going on, basically. El Señor esté con ustedes y con tu espíritu. Lectura del Santo Evangelio según San Juan. Gloria al Señor. Fuck that, bro. As you can see, that shit is not fake. The fucking kids reacted. The priest didn't even react because he's probably like, nah, this is some demon shit trying to test me to stop mass or whatever. I, w- I was going to say, uh, I think me, I wouldn't go the, the paranormal route. Maybe it was the actual like woman like on some like um, crazy shit in the in the, in the the mass or that something. That sound like a woman to you? Yeah. W- what did it sound like to you? Like a man. Sound like a man? Nah, it sound like a woman screaming, bro. Really? Yeah. I don't know, but like, didn't you say like they stopped the mass after that or some shit? They did. Like literally right after that, they ended up like cutting the mass short because they were like, "Yeah, let's let's stop this shit." Maybe they got scared. They probably thought it was like like you said, somebody being crazy or some shit. Yeah. Maybe others thought it was some paranormal shit, but they they literally ended up they stopping ended the mass, stopping the mass literally after that clip and stuff. Fuck that! Like imagine imagine being in church and then you hear that, nah. but boy, it's not no crazy person. Like it's that some actual paranormal shit. Imagine, nah, bug the fuck out. I know we talked about it in the I Am Friends podcast over there when we were um talking about it, like yeah. how church churches are actually scary, which they shouldn't be scary. Yeah, but at, at night they give like this little like weird like eerie feeling. I think I think what it is is because of uh, basically because of scary movies that we've seen, mm-hmm. and how basically they uh they play on our on the stuff that we feel most most safe around, mm. like God. Uh, the church, yeah, the church, uh, like the nuns, stuff like that. Like I feel like that's probably why it, it's it, it's a little creepy. Well, that's, scare, that's the way I see they it. They try to scare us with that shit. Yeah, like try to not really play with your faith or test your faith, but just like they're like so something that you've known your whole life to be something like safe and innocent, like in a different light. You know, you know what's crazy? What? But speaking about like testing your faith and shit like that, right? Uh huh. So back in the day, there was this priest mm-hmm. who uh he had um. I forgot what it was called. I think it's stigmatism. What's that? Not stigmatism. That's like something in the eye. But he had some things, right? Holy marks, basically. Okay. So his hands had like like a, a scar right here. Both hands. Okay. Like a... Oh, okay. Like, I think I know where this is going. Okay. So basically like like he had markings like when Jesus got like staked on uh, the cross. Cru- crucified? Like, yeah, crucified. Um, He had the same markings that he had. Uh-huh. And he was basically like a, a holy priest or whatever. Like he was saying that like he he performed miracles on people and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Like he was he was very very holy apparently, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know how how true, true that, that is, is yeah. but whatever. That's the stories I've heard, right? Yeah. And apparently, like um, he would see like uh, like the devil would speak to him mm-hmm. and like would tell him like, yo, like come over to this side. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, like God isn't real. Like if he's real, then like. You're gonna make him stop What I'm about to do to you Like he, he Like the devil would fuck with him In the middle of the night bro Testing yeah. his fucking faith Trying to really get his fucking soul bro fuck. I think his name was Padre Pio mm-hmm. I think it was that It was like 
It's if, it, if anything, I'll, I'll find the name and I'll Father find it somewhere. Pio, I think that's what it is. Some, but I'll, I'll make sure to look it up. And but. he said that he would see like like in the church, mm-hmm. he would always see like a big ass black dog, bro. And it would scare him and shit. But all he could do was just pray, bro. A black dog, like what? Like um, what is it? Like, like a bloodhound or a hound? What's it called? Not like a. It kind of like kind of like that, bro. Like a like what 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 are those uh, dogs called that has like three heads? It has like it's chained up. Oh, um, a fucking uh, a C- Cerberus. I think that's what it's called. Maybe, a Cerberus I dog. think I think so. Nah, but it would be like a like a big ass rot, black Rottweiler or some shit. Like just just imagine a big ass, yeah, not just a normal sized dog, but no, like yeah, a I know, huge, I, yeah, scary black dog, bro. He would see that. It would test his, like his faith and shit. Like he would get scared, but like he would just pray and stuff. He had so much faith in God to, that he would protect him and shit. That's fucking scary. The devil bro. would speak to him, be appearing his dreams and shit, like just fucking constantly torment him and shit, bro. Fuck that. But he never uh like folded and shit. Uh, is he sure, bro? My, uh, that's uh props you to might him, say bro. My son. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, yeah, but like not in no disrespectful way, bro, because God is uh almighty. That shit, that shit's crazy, right? Yeah. Like imagine, bro, you like you just start getting tormented by the devil and shit like that. Uh, I can't imagine that, bro, because that's scary. Like just the whole, even the whole selling your soul thing is scary too, and and, and in is, itself. Which is funny because that's actually my next topic. Oh, the us? Selling your soul, yeah. All right, so go. Let me see. So, um, first uh before that, I, I next episode, I, I kind of want to talk. I'm gonna remember this time. I'm gonna write it down right actually now, bro. Cause now nah, we're not doing this. I forgot a couple. Bro, do, 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 do you do this? Cause uh, you know what I do? Well, uh, I, I put um, episode fifty-seven and then. Oh shit! I should start doing that. Episode Wait. fifty-six. So this is episode. It would be episode fifty-eight. 58. Yeah, episode fifty-eight. Every, like just a uh, new chapter. Yo, this would be lit because whenever we look back on our. Yeah, sh- that's how I started doing this too. Our right, episode fifty-eight. I'm gonna talk about the. I'm sorry, guys. I never talked about it, bro. Jurassic Park. Okay. The Park, books. The the books, the novels, because they're scary as fuck, apparently. And then um, I'll talk about what are we, what were you we were just saying? Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> fuck. You just forgot. Uh, I I said the whole um, devil shit or selling your soul, and then you were gonna talk about something, and then you, then you, you, you oh the Ouija board. Oh okay. All right, so um, all right, so you know how they always say like uh, selling your soul, like people talk about the Illuminati, people talk about celebrities, people talk about satanic cults, and, yeah, of course, and yeah. uh, Holly Weird, whatever, you know what I'm saying, yeah. like, but you know what I'm saying they they also like supposedly celebrities talk about it in their songs and shit like that yeah, but like we don't how, know where this shit originated yeah like sacrifices all that stuff yeah. shit like that but we don't know where this shit came from mm-hmm. right like people talk about um who's that fucking blues player um something john something johnson um robert johnson robert johnson people talk about him but they don't talk about where it really originated from also oh, you're you have the origin of it or? origin basically basically the origin of the whole like selling your soul that whole thing where it came from and shit okay so basically this goes back to mad fucking long ago bro like i'm talking about like fucking like fucking decades dead years? fucking ge- bro hundreds of years ago bro okay I'm talking about when it was like like for example who was that murder that never got caught was it jack the ripper That's- yeah yeah those days okay. type shit so um and like fucking all the philosophers like that like fucking back in the so fucking ba- so day so back when like technology wasn't really a thing for you to be able to like look facts. To, yeah okay yes facts okay. Right, so basically it's just uh, so what it's called it's the Faustine bargain okay that's what it's called like that's what it's called that's the kind of deal you make with uh, selling your soul and, sh- and stuff basically you exchange Either your morals or you exchange your soul. Okay. For something in return. Uh-huh. But yours you're getting the, the it from mor- the devil. The and morals shit. is that like what like killing somebody? Is, is that part of it? Or Yeah. Okay. That's like a, that's a perfect example actually. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, so that is number one. And basically, uh so how it happened was is that there was this guy, his name was Faust, right? Uh-huh. He was uh a alchemist, mm-hmm. but he was also into like magic and shit. Okay. So he was on some weird shit, right? Mm-hmm. But the crazy thing is, like, when he was growing up, he was in a very Christian family. Okay. 
very very Christian family like his family was religious his family was religious it was really into like religion you know what I'm saying they were Christians and stuff right mm-hmm. so he was he was gonna be sent off to like study theology which is basically the study of religion mm-hmm. and uh, that didn't work out but this guy was a very very curious person bro he was an alchemist as well so he was like into like you know weird shit you know what I'm saying like chemicals yeah. Magic, how to do certain spells. Like, he was on some shit like that, right? Mm-hmm. So, what he wanted to do, he was uh, so curious and he was so obsessed with uh, wanting to talk to... To the devil? Spirits. Oh, okay. Spirits and dead people and shit, right? Yeah. So, uh, basically, uh, he just he just started fucking around with that shit. The first time, first time it happened, bro, he heard a voice. It started talking to him. Yeah. And he got so fascinated with this shit, bro. He's like, yo, what the fuck? How the fuck is this happening, bro? How how the fuck am I talking to something that isn't here or yeah. isn't a person, right? Yeah. So how he did it was that he drew a circle on the floor, which kind of sounds like, like a pentagram, like a pentagram type shit, right? So that, that's how he did it, right? So that was the very first time um he, he ever saw the spirit, mm-hmm. right? So the second time he did it again, but this time, motherfucker was like, "Yo, I'll come, I'll I'll come." I'll talk to you. I'll show myself. I'll show myself. But you have to do certain shit for me. Yeah. You have to do three things for me. What the fuck were the three things? So the first thing is, is that you have to have a certain period of time where that time ends. And you basically become my property. Okay. That's that's the soul part. Yes. The second part is, is that you will, uh, you will, to show me that you're actually for real about it, you're gonna do this shit in blood. To kill somebody. Nah, you're just gonna your own blood. You're gonna make like a blood pack, basically. Okay. And the third thing is that you're gonna cast away all faith, all your Christian faith, mm-hmm. and you're gonna not associate with no believers. Mm-hmm. So he was like, you know what? Fuck it, let's do it. Okay. And then uh he finally did it, whatever. And they they say that the he did it in the left hand, and the left hand is basically like the left side is supposed to be the the significance of the the bad side, the yeah. devil side. Yeah, because like when you have like your your conscience, the angel side is always on your right side, devil's always on your left. That's side. that's a good example. Also, like the right is the right way. Yeah, whatever you know what I'm saying. Yeah, but whatever. So he ended up drawing blood from this hand. And boom, he made the pact, bro. Mm-hmm. And the more and more he started seeing this motherfucker. The more and more he started learning about him, and then until he finally asked him his name, and he said Mep- Mephistopheles, that's that's the motherfucker's name. Mm-hmm. So Mephisto, like fucking oh, Mep- oh, it's not no fucking Marvel okay. shit, you yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like that, and um, basically the devil. Yeah, because Mephisto in in the the comics is is the devil. Is so the, yeah, so he basically find out it's the devil. Uh huh. The more and more he talked to him, the more and more he learned what he actually fucking did. So he didn't know what he did in the beginning. He thought he was just like, just talking I to bet I'm just talking to you, bro. Yeah. Not realizing that what he actually did was, was selling his soul. Selling his soul. He ended up getting powers from this shit. So he traded his soul for like, like um, <sighs> magic abilities and shit like that. Supposedly he got magic and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like a fucking wizard type shit. Warlock. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, as time passed on, he regretted his fucking decision, bro. He's like, yo, like, why the fuck did I even do this, bro? I shouldn't have done any of this. Like, this is this is invalid what I just did, bro. Yeah. He started regretting his choices. He he was dreading so much and shit where he was finally trying to turn back to to God. You know what I'm saying? Until, um, like, he was getting close to, to fully turning. Mm-hmm. He, um, he got distracted by his lust and what he desired and it was in the way of a beautiful woman who distracted him away from the the righteous path and made him be content with temporary pleasure and then and earthly lifetime. and earthly desires then a lifetime, lifetime of, of uh what's that what's that word suffering bro damn no 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 lifetime oh yeah it was lifetime of suffering so i was gonna say lifetime of like being uh what you call it hell bro because I thought you were going to say he's like, let's him in heaven, but like, no, like, that makes no sense. Fuck, bro. 
the, the whole thing is scary, bro. Like, the whole selling your soul, even, like, the whole, like, I guess, um, the whole, um, things that celebrities do and shit. Like, I don't, I don't want to really get too into that, but, like, just, the, just the whole, that whole fucking topic, bro, is, like, fucking scary to me. That ass. And also, like, if you guys, I mean, this is all, like, uh, just conspiracy. This is kind of, like, folklore. Like, it's not, mm -hmm. it's not real. Oh, so that 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 story wasn't real? No, like it's it's like a myth. You know what I'm saying? Like a oh, legend. Oh, like so it, that was a legend. It's a legend. It's okay. not it's not like officially confirmed, bro. We weren't born back then. We can't say nah, that it was right. real. You know you're what right, I'm saying? You're right, you're right. So it's a legend that they say that that's where it originated it came, from. It came from. Yeah. And you guys do your own research. I don't know. This could be fake completely. I could just be saying stupid shit. Never trust whatever I say on camera, because at the end of the day, y'all should do your own research and. Y'all believe what y'all believe. You know what I'm saying? This right. I just got this shit from the internet. We were just talking about don't believe anything on the internet. Speaking of which, you just reminded me of a video. Like, imagine, like, uh, I guess this is kind of on the same topic. Uh, POV. Uh, okay, I don't want to... Was it this? Oh, it is, it is, it is. I think it's... Oh my gosh, bro. It says POV, you watch too many, uh, expo uh, too many videos exposing the Illuminati. But it's uh, I don't know if this is from a movie, bro. Maybe maybe you know what the fuck this is from because you watch a bunch see. of movies. Let but me look. See. I don't know where that's from, bro. I don't know, but imagine just a room like that, bro. I'm shitting my pants, bro, and I'm getting the fuck out of there. But like, there's no way out, bro. Everybody's surrounding you, bro, like with those masks. <laughs> I'll take out my knife and start, like, fighting my way out, bro. You're going to go out fighting, not, not, not like no coward. And then if I get surrounded, I'll fucking just kill, like, kill myself. Yourself? Yeah. But wouldn't you go to hell for that, though? Fuck. Just honestly just got to deal with the consequences or whatever. Whatever, I don't know. Even though there shouldn't be no consequences, but just honestly just accept it and, like, fuck it. I don't know. Just fight, fight, bro. That's fucking scary. That ass, imagine they're just like humming, like uh, like chanting type shit, getting cl oh like making God. the circle closer. Oh my God, like, bro. Stop! Back up! Yeah, and they're not backing up, bro. There's like hundreds like of them. chanting and shit. There's hundreds of them against you, bro. They're not going to win that battle. Unless you have a bomb, bro. You take one out, and then another one replaces him, and they just step <laughs> nah. over him type shit. Yeah. Fuck that, bro. Keep chanting and shit. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I didn't want to talk about mine, but like uh, I'll save it for the next podcast because I feel like it, it's I, I still have like a uh, something missing from it that I, I need. You don't to want do. to get it wrong and yeah, shit. Yeah, so let me just wait on that. But I do want to give a um a hint for for the next podcast of what's gonna be. Go ahead. A uh, game show. Game show. Game show. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. I guess I'm, I'm excited for this one. Yeah. So, uh, do you have anything else you want to talk, talk about or? Uh, I pretty much covered everything that I had, but yeah. All right, so, oh, make sure you bring up the, you know what? Oh, so Patreons. yeah. So this concludes episode uh fifty seven right now. Hope you guys enjoyed. Oh wait, fifty six or fifty? Oh, fifty seven, fifty seven, fifty seven. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, shout out to everybody right now listening. Got to this point. Again, the word uh is rose for non non Spanish, uh listeners and for our Spanish listeners Rosa, but. Uh, we will be shouting out our patrons right now. So shout out to you guys. And yeah, Ricardo's going to read the names. I'll read them right now. It's just loading. Sh shout out Ruben Chavez, Jaime Aureo Alba Albavera, Casengo, Abel Mendoza, Jay Major, Camilla, Kevin Salinas, Fernando Medrano, SF Zeus, Nancy Morales, Miguelito, Nico Granados, Will Jimenez, Michael, Michael Linares, Shalin underscore 16, Richard Christian Lopez, OTS underscore Ruben, Benji Outlaw, Alberto Cervantes, Jennifer Montalongo, and That Space Guy. We fucking love you guys. I think, I think we, because we went down on, under 20 pages. We were at 18. And, and we now were. it's 21 again, I think. <laughs> so shout out to you guys. Thank you guys so much. And I do want to give a birthday shout out to one of our Patreons. He DM'd us, uh, Nicholas Granados. Shout out to you, bro. Uh, you. Happy birthday, bro. And I, I know it passed. His birthday was April 9th. So happy birthday to you, bro. Hope you spend it well with your family, your friends. Uh, just wish we wish you so much, so much, many more years to come and so much love like your way, bro. Facts, facts, facts. Uh, don't forget to comment down. Just anything you guys want us to talk about in the next episode. Uh, we just fucking love you guys. We appreciate the support and stuff. Um, yes. And yeah, we just want to say uh, we're back. Uh, it's been a while. I know... Uh, 
a few episodes has not been hitting like it used to, bro. But we're back. We're back. Don't worry. It's only the first. It's only the beginning. Uh, a lot, a lot more uh, people to come. And I want to tell you in the podcast right now. Um, you know who I want to get on the podcast, bro? Who? I want to get um, try to get Nick Crowley and um, and Expo on the podcast because I, I. We should we should get them and then also um, what what's what's their names? Uh, the two guys that. Sam go- Kobe. Yeah, bro. Well, Sam and Kobe, I feel like they're gonna be hard because like they're they're fucking like yeah. I, I mean, I feel like it shouldn't matter because they're like uh, it's possible because Mr. Ballin follows us, but I, I feel like that would be a mission to get them on the podcast. But I still want to do it too. But yeah, and do you know who Next Bo is? Uh, I've heard you talked about him before. Yeah, scary bro, stories fucking stuff. amazing ass like a uh, video creator, bro. And I feel like I just, I feel like I don't know. I just, I just feel like I would love to talk to the mission. So. Yeah, if you guys want to see that too, or shout out, I mean, um, let let us know who you guys want us to collab with in the future. But yeah, um, this concludes episode 57. Yeah, 57. It's been your host, uh, Messiah, a.k.a. George. It's been your host, R- Ricardo, a.k.a. The Ricardo. And we love you guys. Thank you guys so much for everything. And do not let this podcast go unnoticed. <laughs>